D.C. We brought you our first edition of Star Wars Collectibles. This Monday, the saga continues with a two-hour anniversary special filled with collectibles and visits from Star Wars expert Steve Sansweet and award-winning fantasy artists Greg and Tim Hildebrand. It's all here during our Star Wars Collectibles Anniversary, this Monday starting at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 Pacific, on QVC. One quarter inches. All you're going to do is add three days to your regular shipping and handling. We're the first people in the world to have this uncut sheet from Shadows of the Empire, which is a story that takes place right between The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. It talks about Boba Fett taking Han Solo, frozen in the mm -hmm. Carbonite, back to Jabba the Hutt, what goes on, a little bit of Luke's training as a Jedi. We uh, meet Shizor, who's a reptilian character, another bad guy. Mm -hmm. This sheet, really celebrating uh, Star Wars, which uh, is just blazing in the world of science fiction collectibles. This sheet, $49. Wow. C36, C36, 431. And that, most of the show is brand new. We even have the first officially licensed lightsaber. Next hour is a Christmas shop where most everything I saw is brand new, including these guys. All right. Two bears in their red and green sweaters. I mean, they're great year-round. They're joining Christmas, me in my bear sweatshirt. That, well, that, it just, <laughs> yeah. I knew. 27 cents for this. Star Wars. We're going to give you a head start on this show. Almost everything in the program is brand new. This is going to be something, including this. Star Wars Collectibles, QVC Worldwide Premiere, the movie poster gold foil card. This is the movie poster from the original artwork, taken from the original artwork, which is Greg and Tim uh, Hildebrandt did the original artwork for the poster. It's taken from that artwork. Only 10,000 will ever be produced. We got it first before anybody. It's the fifth gold card released from Star Wars. C, 36429 That's $29. $29, and speaking of the Hildebrand brothers, they designed the Shadows of the Empire trading card set, a QVC exclusive. Nobody in the world, until we sell it, then the dealer, you know, a lot of dealers are going to, I looked at the computer after we talked about this with Dan Wheeler, the way the numbers look, look like a lot of dealers might have dialed in for this to have it at various science fiction conventions. We have it first, though. We have it first before anybody, and it's going to be exclusive to us until it hits the secondary market. 27 by 39 inches, $49. For that Shadows of the Empire uncut trading card sheet, that and so much more coming up in two hours of Star Wars Collectibles, our fourth anniversary. You're watching QVC. You never know when Marvel Comics superheroes will drop in, unless you tune in to Marvel Comic Book Collectibles this Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern here on QVC. One year ago, our search for the best gemstones nature has to offer led us to the Gem State and the deep red garnets found in the Emerald Creek region of Idaho. Now see more beautiful Idaho garnets this Wednesday during our two-hour anniversary special featuring low anniversary prices on select items. The Idaho Garnet First Anniversary featuring a two-hour selection and special prices begins Wednesday at 11 a.m. Eastern on QVC. What's the secret to radiant, youthful-looking skin? It's Hydron, QVC's exclusive line of skincare products. Join us this Tuesday and Wednesday for three Hydron Care specials and discover the Hydron way to renew, retexturize, and revitalize mature and dry skin. If you've never tried Hydron, now's your chance. Watch this Tuesday and Wednesday, only on QVC.
been seven months since our Eterna Gold Polished Band Hoop Earrings sold out, but now they're back for this Tuesday's two-hour Eterna Gold Nighttime Special. This time, we think we have enough, but you never know. Tune in early when Kathy Levin hosts Eterna Gold this Tuesday from 10 p.m. to midnight Eastern on QVC. Who can forget the thrill the first time Luke Skywalker turned on the lightsaber given to him by Obi-Wan Kenobi? To hear that eerie hum, to see that wild glow, and to realize you were definitely watching the most outrageous science fiction movie of all time, the beginning of a legend. Well, the trilogy is legend, the new trilogy is about to begin. We have a jam-packed show, fourth anniversary of our Star Wars collectible shows. Steve Sansweet is here. Greg and Tim Hildebrandt are here. This, it's going to be something. You're going to miss a lot of fun if you tune away. Check this out. Brand new. This is something, if there are any left after the show, I have to have one of these. This book just released 330 pages. Every movie ever done by Industrial Light and Magic. Everything from Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park to uh, The Mask, talking about all the digital magic. This takes you behind the scenes. You become part of the special effects team. Brand new to QVC. Unfortunately, at a price like this, it is in limited supply. $80 for this book. It is huge, huge. A coffee table size book. 330 pages. This, this is wild. This is a successor to the companion bestseller, which is called The uh, Art of Special Effects. It sold over 70,000 copies. That's the brand new one. And brand new movie poster gold card this the fifth in the series that's from the original star wars poster 29 dollars for a 24 karat gold card Ooh, that's exciting that really is 20 dollars for that brand new t-shirts may i be so bold as to make a prediction we will never get a chance to talk about the boba fett t-shirt this is it boba fett on a t-shirt if there are any left after the show i have to have one boba fett there's also Han Solo, Imprisoned in Carbonite. And, of course, there's a wonderful Darth Vader t-shirt where he wants you to be an Imperial Stormtrooper. They're large or extra large, 100% cotton, A36, 724. All three, including Boba Fett, which I said we'll never get to, $15. And The Shadows of the Empire. That book by Steve Perry has turned the Star Wars universe around a saga taking place between The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. This is $45 signed by Greg and Tim Hildebrandt. This is a world premiere. It's not available anywhere. We scooped the whole world on this one. $45 for 90 cards. It's all 90 common cards with the promo card that only the dealers. So you're getting the promo card. That's the one that's been signed by Greg and Tim, the people, the two artists who did the original Star Wars story back in 1977 and they've done the artwork for all these cards done on that shadows of the empire which is going to be the hot thing for this season and also the shadows of the empire uncut trading card sheet this is all 90 cards with the chase cards with the chase cards in the set 49 dollars qvc exclusive we're the only ones we'll ever have who only oh just the common cards the common cards in that the common cards are in that too the 90 common cards 49 dollars QVC exclusive were the only place that will ever have it on the primary market. C36, 431. Most of the show is brand new tonight. You have a lot of fun coming your way. And you know what? We're going to ask for your faxes. Toll-free fax number, and we'll show you that right now. If you, if you have access to a computer or a fax machine, 
You can fax us in with what I think is going to be one of the wildest questions we've ever asked on a Star Wars show. What is your favorite Star Wars collectible? What is your favorite Star Wars collectible? That's the question. Your favorite Star Wars collectible, 1-800-345-1131. Fax us in. In fact, here it is right now. Hold on. There it is. What is your favorite Star Wars collectible? 1-800-345-1131. We never get a chance to get all the faxes we get. It'll be first come, first served. So what's your favorite Star Wars collectible and why? And why is it your favorite collectible? And Steve Sansweet. Steve Bryant. <clears throat> four years. Yes. It's been a long time. Amazing. I remember watching the first show at home and being very excited about it. That's right. We did a show with Mark Hamill. That's right. It's great. Oh, uh, this, this. Bought a lot of stuff. Th 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 me too. I mean, uh, along, along the years. And I've brought my favorite Star Wars collectible, which I'll show you later on in the show tonight. So many things brand new, including this one. Dave Dorman established himself as such uh, an incredible artist in the world of comic books, of course, with all the uh, Dark Horse comics, Dark Empire saga. This is a brand new book. Now, consider the value here. Brand new. It's not out in the, in the market yet. We're introducing it to the world. Not art of Dave Dorman, but it's also signed by the artist. Imagine trying to, to, to track down a guy like this at a convention and getting him to sign something that is this special that details all the artwork he's done along the way. He's, he's such, such a talent. Well, <clears throat> not only is Dave a great artist and a nice guy, but he is a Star Wars fanboy from the get-go. Mm -hmm. And uh, this book is amazing because not only does it include some of the posters that Dave has done, uh, book covers, comic book covers, but also some of the preliminary sketches yes. and some of the paintings that were rejected or changed for one reason or another. So really behind the scenes yep, look absolutely. in the world of, of Star Wars art and signed by this, this artist. Uh, this, the text, the story will intrigue you if you're a Star Wars fan. It's a first opportunity to get an autographed book for $25. That's, that's like getting the autograph literally for free. No, not even any gas to go to the convention. F11600. And let's go right to the telephones and say hello to Dave. Hey, how you doing? Doing well. You're live with Steve Sansweet. Yeah, hi, Steve. How you doing tonight? Doing well. Now, can you hear Dave? No, I can't because okay. uh, I <clears throat> don't have a... Uh... Did we lose your... Uh... Okay. Dave, hold on just a second. We'll get, a, we'll get an earpiece in for Steve or gun the speakers. I'll become... Boy, I feel so interplanetary, Dave. I'm going to be an interpreter for the for the oh, moment. Okay. <laughs> hey, give us the lowdown on the book. What a wild collection this is. Well, it, uh, it was quite a, a collection of artwork. I've been doing uh, Star Wars paintings ever since the uh, movies came out when I was uh, in college. Mm -hmm. And it certainly uh, inspired me and, and turned my view of, of artwork around a little bit with... Um, uh, the way that uh, the art direction was in the film and um, uh, is just a, a wonderful film and definitely an inspiration artistically for me. Oh, and you you can tell, you can tell. I mean, look, we're looking at Luke Skywalker right now, Dave. What? Let me let me embarrass you. What a talent! Oh, <laughs> well, thanks. That's that's phenomenal. I mean, faces to get that kind of the musculature and the structure in the face. I mean, that's that's perfect. Well, thanks. I I appreciate the comment on that. It's. Uh, to be involved in uh, producing artwork uh, for the Star Wars is certainly an, an honor and um, uh, a, a privilege. I, I, the projects that I've been working on uh, over the past uh, eight or nine years, uh, beginning with the Dark Horse comics and mm -hmm. moving into the licensed material and the uh, paperbacks, it's definitely been a privilege to uh, become part of the Star Wars history and something that, uh, uh, for me, has been so inspiring uh, uh, in, in the artwork. What are some of your favorite characters to draw? Uh, favorite characters, uh, definitely uh, Bubba Fett. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> and that shouldn't be any surprise to <laughs> Star Wars fans out there. I think we got, we got you here with a Boba Fett helmet. Yeah. That was, that was uh, quite a surprise uh, when we went out to Lucasfilm uh, that uh, we had a, an opportunity to go into the warehouse and see some of the actual props and, oh, and such. Oh, that has, that, has to be quite a, that has to be quite a treat. I mean, we're paging... We're paging through the book right now and looking at the at the various scenes of the, of course, a lot of the artwork, uh, a lot of the artwork from the Dark Empire series. I mean, which just 
which just redefined the way graphic novels uh, were done. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure you've seen the influence that you, you've exerted upon the entire... You brought the whole comic world up at least a click and a half. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Not, not that I'm uh, a fan or anything, Dave, but, <laughs> but this, is, this is something to see. I mean, this, to, to get the, the, the lowdown and to get your autograph, too, because you, as, as busy a schedule as you have, because as you said, you started off with, with the Dark Horse... Uh, pieces of the Dark Empire series, which is, which is quite a time commitment, but now you're doing book covers. What are some of your more recent projects? Uh, I'm still doing uh, comic covers. The most recent uh, project is a four-issue uh, uh, adaptation from Dark Horse of A New Hope. It's a brand new adaptation, and I've done a series of four covers for that. Uh, also, I'm still doing the uh, paperback covers for the Young Jedi Knight series as well as uh, producing some new art prints through my company, Rolling Thunder Graphics. Uh, and we have a license uh, from Lucasfilm to produce brand new Star Wars artwork in limited edition uh, fine art prints. Wow. Wow, just some, some, some in incredible stuff. And we're, we're, as you were talking, we were just paging through. And uh, will that, that new hope hit the stands pretty soon? Uh, the New Hope, I believe, will be hitting the stands in uh, January. Oh, coinciding uh, co with, the, with the film. To coincide with the, the re-release of the film, that's mm -hmm. correct. All right. All right. That's we'll have something. one of Dave's prints on a little later. So. That's right. We have your Boba Fett print, and we're deliberately not showing it because they... they well, that's, that's something special. That Boba Fett print is um, mm -hmm. uh, a QVC exclusive, yes. and uh, I think when you show it and, and describe uh, what it is, I, I think uh, the, the fans will be very surprised. Uh, I'm going to give everybody uh, a little heads up on it. The Boba Fett print is not only a piece of Dave Dorman artwork, but each one is going to have an orig original pencil sketch down at the bottom of it. So it's a piece of artwork with an original piece of artwork on each one, and each one signed and numbered by you. That's correct. I, I spent a good amount of time uh, drawing uh, specifically uh, uh, Boba Fett uh, original mm -hmm. uh, pencil drawing on each of the prints. Each print, you wow. do get an original a uh, piece of Dave Dorman artwork. That's that's going to be that's going to be such a treasure, and that'll be up in just a, a little bit. Now, a lot of great story, a lot of great stories in the book right here. What are some of the things we're going to find out? Some of the behind-the-scenes magic we're going to discover in this book. Well, uh, as far as behind the scenes uh, uh, concerning the the technique that I use to paint, there is a section in the back of the book uh, that describes uh, how I went ahead and. Um, uh, the technique that I use in painting the actual uh, painting for the cover itself, mm. uh, that was something that a lot of fans ha have been asking me uh, when I go to uh, conventions and do store signings. How do I approach doing the artwork uh, for the material? Right here. We, we've turned right to that section right here in the book. And um, uh, it's, it's very exciting for, for me to be able to pass that information to uh, the uh, fans in general uh, who wouldn't norm normally get to uh, understand how I go from a blank piece of paper to the final uh, finished oil painting. Mm. And uh, it, it certainly is um, uh, exciting for me to have that information in, in the, uh, the fans' hands and, and uh, to know how I do it. Well, I think a, a real fan really wants to know that. That's one of those things that you just sort of gets under your skin. You say, how did, how did that happen? How did that take place? Well, I think it is interesting for, uh, for the fans to, to mm. read that. Also, at the beginning of the book, we have a a section that talks about uh, my first encounter with Star Wars when I was in college and I, I left school early and drove two hours to a, a theater in, in Washington, D.C., downtown mm -hmm. Washington, to see the very first uh, premiere uh, of the original Star Wars film. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, from there we uh, talk about um, my involvement in Star Wars through my, my artwork and then we show some early pieces that have never been published oh, before. Oh, yeah, this, this early shot of... Uh uh, Han Solo and Luke Skywalker and the X-Wings. Oh, this is marvelous, That's Dave. correct. Those pieces have never been published before. Hey, hey, Dave, I think you have Luke's nose a little better these days. <laughs> well, you know, that was, that was back almost 20 years ago. Pretty Hopefully amazing. I've improved a little bit as an artist. 17-year-old? That's phenomenal. <laughs> but, but you've kept everything, too, which is amazing. Yeah. What a, tre yeah. What a treasure that is. I really do have to thank Lucasfilm uh, and everybody in the publishing and licensing department for allowing us to reproduce a lot of this material that they had never seen, uh, as well as, as letting us use the uh, preliminary sketches and a lot of uh, the material that has been changed since it needed to be approved originally 
for publication if they didn't like the way a certain uh, face looked and, and I had to go back and change it uh, they allowed us to show my original version so that they can compare that to the final well, version it's, uh, it's, re it's really published. a great book Dave so uh, Excellent. I'm, I'm sure we're gonna do really well with it Excellent. well I, I, I hope so it certainly is a, a, a great example of a body of work that oh. someone can do in this business and uh, for, for me it's, it's a privilege to have this book showcasing the work that I've done in the Star Wars uh, genre. It's a privilege for us to have it. Dave, real pleasure to have you on the air tonight. Thank you. Well, thank you. you for having me. Good night, good, Dave. Bye -bye. Good luck with the show. Thank you. Bye-bye. Brand new to QVC in limited supply already. Autographed by Dave Dorman. 128 pages. Real behind-the-scenes stuff. $25. F11-600. And still to come, this is that print exclusive to QVC. This, this is a treasure. This is an absolute one-of-a-kind treasure because each one of these is going to have a pencil sketch, an, in, an original pencil sketch on it done by Dave Dorman. So each one has an original sketch and each one also has the Boba Fett print, all signed and numbered, exclusive to QVC. I think we have a hundred of those in stock and that's it. Hundred and fifty dollars. C36432. That's a great one. It's a dynamite. That is, look at that. Signed. And two Boba Fetts for the price of two one. Two and one hand sketched. I mean, one, obviously, uh, the hand done oil painting there, a print of the hand done oil painting, and then a hand sketched, a pencil sketch at the bottom. For hundred and fifty dollars, that's a home run. And very popular in the show. Another QVC exclusive, the Shadows of the Empire trading card, uncut sheet. Forty-nine dollars. C36431. And we have you with your, your earpiece now. Thank you. <laughs> Steve has ears now. I have ears. <laughs> I can hear. This. Oh, man. I've been waiting for this for years. years. There yep. been, there's been junk and trash out on the market. This is the first officially licensed lightsaber. 37 individual pieces, hand assembled, each one individually numbered, only 10,000 done for worldwide consumption. This, in its own display case, let me just lift that off. I want to show you. Detailed down here to the hand grip where the power cell is. This is where you adjust, where you would adjust the uh, length of the beam. That's where you would recharge it. This is the one that Obi-Wan Kenobi gave to Luke Skywalker, the one that had been Anakin Skywalker's lightsaber. This was not an easy thing to produce, and that's one of the reasons it's taken so long for Lucasfilm to agree to give a license to someone to make prop replicas, mm. because... I mean, first of all, these were found objects. The, the, the base of this was something called a Graflex tube, which was a camera light flash tube. Mm -hmm. They stopped making them in 1962. Oh, so man. you can't find them anymore. So for icons to go mm -hmm. in and to manufacture mm -hmm. and come up with the exact tooling that oh. would make an exact replica of Brush, the Graflex tube. Brush metal? It's That's just a beautiful piece. And, I mean, these bubbles were from an old calculator originally. So you have to go oh, in. Man. You have to go in and you have to remake that, Look too. At this. And that's all right under, there's the activation. That's lead. right. That's how you turned yeah. it on when you went to uh, lop somebody's appendage off. And here you hang it on your uh, utility belt. Belt, belt clip uh, right there. Absolutely. But it's just an amazing piece. And this would be, this is the one to have because it's the first one that Luke Skywalker had. It's the one he lost in The Empire Strikes Back. He lost this along with his right hand when he was dueling his uh, his his then father. Right, and it does come with a uh, certificate oh, yeah. of authenticity. Look at this. Um, with the Lucasfilm logo on it and the Icons logo and signed by Howard Groffman, who's the uh, vice president of licensing. Mm. So it's truly a great piece. And for, you know, those of you who have seen bootleg lightsabers at shows, nothing comes close to this beauty. Oh, it's, yeah. Feel that, the heft of this, it, this too. This does. It's I mean, just, this, this feels, perfect. it feels like you're ready. You're ready to do battle. You will grab a hold of this. Steve, the excitement that I felt. I'm sitting there. I was, I was, I think, dead front row center the day the right. Star Wars premiere, the, the afternoon show. I'm there looking up, watching this incredible saga take place, and the excitement I felt when Luke Skywalker first held that in his hand and the beam came out. Right. And he realized, and you the look on his face, the acting was superb. This, while supplies last, $350. It is a treasure. There were two other lightsabers. There was, in the series, there was Darth Vader's lightsaber, and then the one Luke made himself. Right, and, and each of the, and there was Ben's lightsaber, of oh, course. Right, yes. So each mm -hmm. of, and each of the lightsabers was a little bit different. Mm -hmm. 
And what ICONS did was to research this, going into the Lucasfilm archives, looking at the original lightsabers and also photos, and they have gone back and produced the most authentic version of Luke's lightsaber. Each one individually numbered, each one in its own display case. You're going to want to take it out and look at it. But then you're also... And play with it. And of course, absolutely. When I watch the That's film, half the fun. And then put it in its own display case. It is a one-of-a-kind treasure for $350. You're getting a real, a real piece of history. Wow, it's that nose I job <laughs> I always wanted. Wow, cool. Let's go to the phone lines for it. Ah, you're live on Great QVC with, with, Darth, with Darth Sansweet over here. I'm not letting go of this. <laughs> What's your name? Where do you live, please? Eric Tyler. Hi, Hi Eric. Eric. And how are you? Doing good. Where are you calling from? Ah, uh, Garneville, New York. All right, would you turn your TV down for us there? Sure. Thanks. That, that we have a delay system that echoes. Right. Listen I apologize for that. Oh, no problem. What do you think of the lightsaber? Oh, it's outrageous. Pretty nifty, huh? Yeah, it's almost like a uh, exact duplicate. It, it is. is an exact it's, duplicate. It's perfect. Yeah. I mean, that's that's the the folks. The, it's Icon, the folks yeah. who, who did it. I was over at their uh, at yeah. their operation last week and saw the assembly, and it's uh, it's pretty amazing. It's, it's got a lot of guys and women in the back room mm -hmm. assembling these piece by piece, hand very. Hand assembled, 37 pieces, brushed metal. You're going to be ready to uh, go out there and take your place with the Jedis. Definitely. This is wild. Hey, I'm glad we had it for you. Thanks for the call tonight. Thank you. You're welcome. Take Enjoy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. It's, it's a real piece of Star Wars history. I mean, it's, it's, it's a, if you're a fan, it's the centerpiece for your collection. It, the thrill you felt the first time... The first time you saw the lightsaber being used when uh, Luke had the, the visor on, right. was trying to deflect the... Right, and doing the, you know, with the yeah. uh, tracking ball. Yep. Yeah, that was pretty oh, amazing. That, and the, and the first duel between Vader and uh, uh, Obi-Wan. Obi -Wan. Yeah. This is something that fans have been asking for for a long time. Authentic Literally. prop replicas, and here we have the, the, the beginning, the very first. It's the first certificate of authenticity, uh, very limited supply right now. We go to the phones for it. Hi. You're on QVC with Steve Sansweet. I'm glad you could join us. Hi. Hi. This is uh, Todd from uh, New York City. Hi, Todd. Hey, Todd. And Steve, I had the honor of seeing you at the uh, Comic Book Extravaganza a oh, few great. weeks ago. Just a couple weeks ago. I was your uh, slide guy. Oh, that's right. I okay. got to uh, cap the film and take the cap off. What I, an honor. I appreciate your great <laughs> efforts. <laughs> uh, what have you bought tonight? Well, I uh, got the uncut sheet from... Uh, Shadows and the uh, gold poster card, and of course the lightsaber you Isn't have in your hand there. You are going to be so excited with this piece. I mean, it is just amazing. Uh, it Both the, I mean, just I can't leave it here. That's the problem. <laughs> I, can't, I can't get it away from him. He's he's, he's hugging the light, mom. Oh, he's okay. The lightsaber okay, again. you play with this it. Is, this is it. I mean, down right down to you know. Well, what's oh. amazing to me is how the, you know these little these little points yeah. in here, and they they could have yeah. done it cheaply. They could have done it with plastic, but That's this right. is exactly like the original. All metal. Oh, it's, it's amazing. It's yeah. Where you would have recharged it, of course, the hand grip where the power cell is, right in there where the chrysolite faceted chrysolite lens is. That every Jedi making this just to fit his his own hand and the activation lever. That's. That's quite a problem. Oh, it's great. And I'm glad I could uh, put on my uh, cue card. Great. <laughs> so I'm, it's a favorite all at once. So. I'm, I'm glad we had it for you. Thank you so much Thanks, for the Todd. call tonight. Thanks, Todd. Uh, thank for your you help. so much. Thanks for talking to you Appreciate both. It. Good night. In its own display. Okay, less than half. It's not going to make it to the end of the show. There's no doubt about that. Less than half remaining. $350. See, $35,690. Still available. We have uh, the end of the line, if you would, of the Star Wars trilogy. This will be the last of the original trilogy, because in January, in January, the new, uh, the new Star Wars 1 comes out with the newly recut, or the newly cut footage, I should say. You're getting all three of the original films, uh, Star, Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, and uh, The Return of the Jedi, all three, full length, $33. Here's a little bit of it. Okay, stay sharp.
told you most of the show is going to be brand new. You have to have this. You, if you're a science fiction fan, you have to have this book. I have to have this book. This, this is one of the wildest assemblages of special effects information I've ever seen. It's amazing. From the company that really defines the world of special effects, ILM, Industrial Light and Magic. 330 pages, a huge coffee table book. And I'm just going to turn it to this, because this, if you saw The Mask, uh, one of the most popular movies of all time, this will break down step by step. You want to know. You want to get behind the scenes. You want to get into the minds of the creators. You want to get into their hands. How do they do it? This will show you how they did every effect and every film they've ever worked on is in here. The mask is in here. Every little nuanced detail. Let me do. And there's some really, really wild fold-out posters. Let me fold this guy out here. Look at this. On the other side. Check that out. Oh. This, and the, Steve, the information in this book is Well, is that's what I love fun. about this book. This is sort of a sequel to an ILM book, coffee table book, mm -hmm. that came out about 10 years ago. And this is called Industrial Light and Magic into the Digital Realm. Yes. And it's everything that ILM has done in the last 10 years. So all the movies right. that they've made, mm -hmm. all of these wonderful breakthroughs in, um, in computer graphics, but also model making and motion control, mm -hmm. uh, it, it is really super. And of course, this is a Star Wars show. Well, there's Jurassic, Jurassic Park. Park. But it does include the Star Wars Special Edition. Yes, it does. Which is coming out. Mm -hmm. Now we've moved it up, actually. It's uh, January. January 31st. Star wow. Wars, Empire Strikes Back on February 21st, and Return of the Jedi on March 7th. Some of your first looks at the newly done CGI, the, the, the computer graphics that they're using. Look at this. You got a favorite yeah. page? Oh, yeah. Uh, Is this the one? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. That's oh, great. Oh, man. Now, that's a redone shot of mm -hmm. the... George wanted it a little more dynamic. In the mm -hmm. first movie, all the X-Wings were all lined up straight in a row oh, going yes, for the Death were. Star. Mm -hmm. George said, well, you know, we're playing with it. Let's give it a little look, a little design. And so now we've come up with this wonderful action where they're, you know, they look like they're a squadron en route oh, to the they Death do. Star. They do. They're coming in uh, in attack formation. And as you go through here is the, since this book is, was brand new to me, is the shot in here where Han is talking to... Uh, Jay the Hutt? Jay the Hutt. Uh, let's, let's see. Keep going, keep going. Your first... Nope. Nope, nope. You'll have to wait for the... Wait for the... Well, let's go back. Maybe. Maybe and maybe not. I think they were saving that. Yeah, I think I think the, that that will be uh, that will be detailed. But your first look at the newly inserted fo footage. I mean, look at some of these special effects. I mean, for 1977, Star Wars was a phenomenal film. But wait till you see the one coming out the end of January. Oh, you know, George has said that uh, he's a very hard marker. He said that it was only about a 60 on a scale of one to 100, and now he's going to make it a lot closer to 100. Mm. And you're going to see some of that in this book. Industrial Light and Magic into the Digital Realm, written by Mark Cadavaz. Now, Mark is a, a, a writer who just really knows special effects mm -hmm. so well, and he's a writer for Cinefix magazine. And this book not only has fabulous pictures, step-by-step -step pictures on how things are oh, done, yeah. but a very clear text and a lot of text explaining how things were done step-by-step. -step. And, you know, not for the, not for the really... Uh, technical person but just for the layman you'll understand it how things it. happen yes. it explains it eighty dollars three hundred thirty pages jam-packed everything they've all done color. digitally all color i mean you will you'll be intrigued this will get you through a long cold lonely winter and then some at fifteen thousand and seven we go to the phones for it hi you're on qbc with star wars collector expert aficionado steve sansweet welcome to the show hello steve my name is Catherine from belmont Hi. Hey, Catherine. Hi. Belmont. California. California. All right. Yeah, just south of San Francisco. Ah, uh, Catherine, this is some kind of book. Yeah, I'm ordering it for my son. I want to get it before he comes walk, walks in the door walks here. Walks in the door. It's going to be a surprise, <laughs> huh? Oh, well, he'll yeah, love it. Yeah, for Christmas. Did you, your son like special effects? Oh, yes, he does. He's really into it. Well, ILM, of course, is the leading special effects house. When anybody needs special effects done well, they mm -hmm. go to ILM. And That's this right. is... Uh, this is a book that shows everything that they've done for the last 10 years. That's oh, right. Oh, wonderful. He, he'll be really enjoying that. Oh, yeah. Sure. Everything from, uh, they, they worked on Die Hard. And Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park and is in Jumanji here. Oh, and yes. 
uh, even TV commercials. That's oh, right. boy. <laughs> it, it'll detail a lot. I mean, the work on Jurassic Park, I mean, it took years and years so that we would believe a velociraptor had just walked into the room. It looks absolutely wonderful. I'm sure he's not going to get too much sleep once he gets a hold of this book. Oh, well, that's <laughs> it. This is, how old is he? Uh, 28. Great. Oh, he's, I mean, just, just to get the lowdown on how they were able to combine those incredible effects in the mask. Uh, it just looks absolutely Absolutely fabulous. Well, he's going he's gonna to yeah. love this book. Oh, yes. no, he, he'll be in heaven. <laughs> Catherine, we will rush it right to you. Thank you so much for being on the air tonight. Well, thank you, Steve. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. It would make a dynamite. If you have a science fiction uh, aficionado on your gift list, this would do it. $80, brand new, 300 pages, covering the digital age of industrial light and magic. QVC exclusive in the show, there are a lot of them, including the gold foil card based on the original... Star Wars poster for the first film. Limited edition, uh, making its world debut on QVC, $29, see $36,429. And also, your choice of Star Wars t-shirts, very popular. Boba Fett, I'm telling you, we won't get a chance to talk about Boba Fett in, in person, I, I got a feeling. Boba Fett, Han Solo and Carbonite, and this wonderful uh, Darth Vader Wants You poster, trying to recruit you. Large and extra large, 100% cotton, $15. By the way, we're going to have some Star Wars trivia along the way, and we'll get to your faxes. We'll answer this when we get back. Upon seeing the Death Star, what did pilot Wedge Antilles say? Craftsman tools are the tools you can count on for all your holiday tasks. Get a jump on holiday home fix-ups, gift assembly, and gift ideas for the handyman and the hobbyist with two hours of genuine Craftsman tools. That's two hours of guaranteed forever tool sets, handy storage systems, and more Craftsman tools. This Wednesday, starting at 8 p.m. Eastern on QVC, where there's no place like home for holiday shopping. It's been one year since the elegant premiere of Swara Gem, a facet of Swarovski, on QVC. This Thursday, we'll celebrate with our largest single Swara Gem program ever and special anniversary prices on select items. Sophisticated cutting techniques release the sparkle and perfection of stones from Swara Gem. Precision cut in Austria and boasting the radiant beauty for which Swarovski is world famous. Enter the multifaceted world of Swara Gem, a facet of Swarovski, during our three-hour first anniversary celebration this Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern on QVC. We're live with Star Wars collector and expert extraordinaire Steve Sansweet and me. We have an update for you. Don't say we didn't tell you. It's gone. I kind of knew stuff. that was going to yeah. happen. Oh, that was, I'll have to wait till the next time around. That's, that's a real treasure. Lots of new things in the show. We have trivia questions. What did uh, Wedge Antilly say? Look at the size of that thing! I knew that. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> guess, who, guess who wrote the trivia questions for us? There'll be a lot more. We have some really wild ones, too. Some ones that are going to tax you. That would, that's the easiest one of a lot so far. Well, a QVC worldwide premiere. You can't get this in the bookstores. You won't be able to for a couple of weeks. We got it before anybody. The brand new Star Wars novel by Christine Rush. Christine is a uh, Hugo Award-winning editor of uh, Science Fiction Fantasy Magazine. Right. And also an author, a fine author on her own, right? Done uh, lots of science fiction novels. This one, The New Rebellion, is, like I said, brand new to QVC and not in the stores. It's $22 at $15.058. And as you dial in for it, I told you there'd be lots of surprises. We have Christine Rush on the telephone, and Steve can hear the call now, so this should be, <laughs> this should be real interactive TV. Hi, Christine. Hi, how are you? Christine, doing Great. well. How about you and yours? I'm doing just fine. Can you uh, just tell us briefly uh, where this novel takes us and, uh, and who this new villain is that we meet? And he's not an Imperial officer. Well, this novel takes us, it's written in the later part of the New Rebel or the... Uh, New Republic, and uh, it takes us to all different far reaches of the Star Wars universe. And uh, the new villain is a person by the name of Queller, who uh, has a particularly interesting vendetta against um, the New Republic itself. Mm -hmm. He has a past, too, doesn't he? I'm sorry? He has a past. 
also. I mean, he's not someone who is a stranger to the heads of the New Republic, especially Oh, no, Luke. he knows an awful lot about everybody, and he's putting it to good use. Mm. This, this is such a coup for us, Christine, to get this before, uh, before anyone. Was, what were some of the challenges you faced in writing? You've done so many great science fiction novels, but the challenges you faced in writing a Star Wars novel? Well, I think in some ways writing a Star Wars novel is the most difficult challenge I've ever faced. Um, I love Star Wars and have loved it since I was 16 years old. So first of all, I had to get over my own self, you know, my own adoration for the project. Once I did that, I had to um, take a look at what everybody else had done before me, because unlike so many other novels, um, the Star Wars universe is all interconnected. You know, what happens to Luke and Leia in um, one of Tim Zahn's books will directly affect what happens to them in mine. Mm. So I had to be familiar with what all the authors who came before me had done. And then on top of it, I had to come up with a story that interested me and um, challenged me and felt I felt that would be interesting to all the other Star Wars fans out there. I just didn't want to do something that had been done before. I wanted to do something new, and I think I have. One of the things I really like about this book is that you explore in a different way the Force and the dark side of the Force. And without giving away too much, can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, I think the Force is one of the most interesting aspects of the Star Wars universe, and I think it has so many parallels in, in what goes on in our own lives. I mean, to follow the good and narrow path is often very difficult, and to go the, uh, the dark side, the dark way, for example, is um, a lot easier, but it's also a lot more, um, I don't know how to put it, it's, uh, you know, a lot more destructive in the end. And um, I really wanted to use that when I wrote about this book. I wanted to show both the easiness of the dark side and yet its destructive capability, and not just its destructive capability in the way we've, we've seen it before, but on, on the lives of people it touches, you know, kind of sideways. And you sort of raise some questions in there about how the Force affects both Luke and Leia at the end. Yes. Um, they have some interesting choices that they have to make, some things they haven't faced before, some things that the Force is forcing them, no pun intended, to think about. <laughs> Fascinating. And Christine, this is so new that the, the book our viewers are going to be getting is autographed. But yes. we, we don't have an autograph one to show people, but you have personally autographed the books that are going out to our, our viewers. So keep in mind, you're getting an autographed Star Wars novel weeks before it'll be popping up into your local bookstores, and to get that for $22. And uh, Steve, Steve got an, an advanced copy and got a chance. See, I, I didn't know how new it was. Well, I, went I, out, I went up to some of the biggest bookstores <laughs> around, and they right. said, never heard of never it. Heard never of heard it. of it. You know? That's right. It's not out yet. I, I just got my own author's copy in the mail on Friday. Well, when you write an encyclopedia, you need to get advanced manuscripts of some books. So that's, that's true. Uh, that's, that's a good point. That's why. Good point. Well, this... And, and there are a lot of characters and a lot of new planets yeah. and a lot of new vehicles in there to write about. Mm -hmm. That's right. And uh, at this point in time, Leia is the head of the New Republic? That's right. She is. And um, Luke is still working with the Jedi Academy. Mm -hmm. And um, Han is doing his own thing. In right. fact, this, one, this book does feature Han Solo in, in some ways that we haven't seen before. And it also features the droids in a way that hasn't been used before. A lot of the other books have used them as foils, but it hasn't really used them in the way that they were used in the movies, um, meaning that, you know, R2-D2, <laughs> I mm -hmm. hate to, to sound silly, but R2-D2 was quite a hero, especially in the first movie. Absolutely. And um, he and uh, um, 3PO become a hero here. Well, and he was, he was in, uh, in Jedi, too. That's and right. R2 yes. was the, the guy who got them into the command bunker on uh, Endor. That's exactly. exactly. So, uh, and i got to admit, I have a great fondness for R2. Well, I can tell because yeah. he becomes very much a hero in this book, too. That's right. Saves, uh, saves mm -hmm. the galaxy from some, uh, some pretty bad trouble. Yes, he does. And all pretty much on his own initiative, as R2 tends to do. Oh, fascinating. Fascinating. This, this is such a coup for our, for our viewers to get, to get first crack at this and this, this continuing saga. I mean, it's just the, the Star Wars universe is so rich. Uh, the, the Timothy Zahn trilogy just really establishing the characters and, and leading kind of pointing the way, tr truly, toward the uh, new rebellion. Christine, you've also come up with a, uh, a new hero. I wonder if you can tell us a little bit about uh, Cole Fardreamer. Uh, Cole Fardreamer is um, a guy who admired Luke Skywalker when uh, Luke was, you know, all his life. Cole is from Tatooine. Mm -hmm. And he decided he really wanted to work for the New Re Republic, and uh, found out he didn't have any gift for the Force. And so he ended up working in the maintenance phase 
and doing things on shuttlecrafts and other things. And uh, he, uh, um, through kind of an accident of events, finds himself in a position to help out the droids. And he does. He leaps to the chance immediately and shows that even some guy who's repairing ships can uh, be a hero. And that's what I like about him is that he's, uh, he's just an ordinary guy and he, he rises to the occasion. Yes, he does. And I think it's really good for him because mm. he, he, he discovers that you don't need the Force in order to be a hero. Right. And I love the name. Thank you. Far Dreamer. <laughs> Far Dreamer. That is, that's, that's, that's a marvelous, a marvelous name. It just it ties in with the mythos so well. Do we see, do we get some views of Tatooine we haven't seen before? Not so much of Tatooine. We do get to see a place called Smuggler's Run that we've never seen before. It's a place uh, where the smugglers hide out. A very an asteroid belt. A very yucky place, I might very, add. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. boy. <laughs> place you wouldn't want to visit, Steve. Okay. No, but a good place to hide if yep. you have to. Absolutely. Excellent. Christine, thank you so much for taking time. I know you're running uh, to catch an airplane. Yes, I'm afraid so. I'm calling you from O'Hare. Okay, thanks right. a lot, Christine. Thank well, you. Thank Con you, guys. Great Continue book. success. Thank you. Thank thanks. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. This, this is a real coup, a world premiere. It's not in the bookstores, it's autographed by Christine Rush. That's right, an autographed copy of the brand new Star Wars novel will not be in the bookstores. Like I said, for the last week, or, I didn't know how new it was. Last week or so, I was out there hitting the stores and everybody said, no, no, don't know about it, don't know about it. Well, it's brand new to uh, the world and we have it first. This one's brand new as well. The Darth Vader framed wow. big face lithograph. That's an Al Williamson That's piece. Great. That, 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 that'll stop you in your tracks. $200. Wow. It's huge. Framed, matted, ready to display. C36430. <laughs> and also later in the show, uh, your choice of Jabba the Hutt or Yoda model kits. $14.50 for those. Either one. C33490. So we go back and take a look at a little bit more of the Star Wars trilogy. And you think it sounds great there. Wait till you hear it oh. in the theaters come January. That's right. The new one. And, of course, talk about treasures. This trilogy is going bye-bye. This, when this current stock and supply of the trilogy sells out, it'll never be produced again. And according to Jamie Dwayne Tucker, Jamie Dwayne Tucker says his favorite collectible is the movie trilogy set that came out last year because they will be priceless after the release of the special <laughs> edition in February. So, Jamie, thank you very much for that. Jamie's from Pikeville, Kentucky. All three films completely remastered in THX. The sound no, the visuals sound. will come alive, and you'll be able to enjoy this saga time and time and time again to uh, learn, to enjoy. Again, we're just now going into wintertime. You know, you, you think of the money. Think of the money you've spent over the years renting these, at, you know, 3 to $4 a pop. Now, for $33, you'll own all three E13172. How, a third of these have already been ordered. How good does that THX look and sound? Oh, it's it great. Looks this good. Check this out. Asteroid. Uh, no. Uh, Joey, set 271. Uh, what are you doing? You're not actually going into an asteroid field. They'd be crazy to follow us, wouldn't they? have to do this to impress me. Sir, the possibility of successfully navigating an asteroid field is approximately 3,720 to 1. Never tell me the odds. I made a mistake. 
day, close to being sweetheart. I take it back. Uh, and to see the new version out in the theaters, the end of January, January 31st, 1997. Right. This will be something you will watch time and time again. You saw it. You saw it. About half of these remain. Let's we'll, we'll go to some of more of your faxes, but let's go to the phones very quickly before this one sells out. Hi, you're on QBC with Steve Sansweet. I'm glad you could join us. Hi. Hi. Uh, this is Dolores from Pennsylvania. How you doing? Hey, Dolores. Okay. How are y'all? Having fun. Uh, sounds like a trilogy's coming your way. Yeah, I'm ordering it for my son for Christmas. Great. That's a great Christmas gift. He'll just love it. Have something to do all day too. That's yeah, right. he's he's a big Star Wars fan. How old is he? Uh, 18. Great. Oh, Dolores, he will, you know, usually after the football games on Christmas, TV stinks. You know, it's all because they realize nobody's watching. Now he'll have something great to watch, you know, on Christmas Day and right through the winter and for years and years to come. Yeah, that's true. He's been after me to order him for him for a while, so I decided I'd get him tonight and put him back. Well, this is also a great yeah. price, too. Yeah, to uh -huh. get all three, it's $11 per, per movie and all done in that THX, which is the state-of-the-art remastering of these, so the visuals and the sound are just going to pop. Oh, that's great. Well, they're on their way to you. Thank you much for joining us tonight. Well, thank you very much. It was good talking to you. Thank you. Same night. Thanks. Bye-bye. Uh, less than 100. Less than 100 remain. If you're on the line, stay on the line. We'll let you know when that quantity counter hits zero. Speaking of that, this, this half of these have been ordered. We might not get to talk about the T-shirt. We might not get to present the Boba Fett print. That is huge. That lithograph exclusive to QVC. That's a pencil sketch. That's a pencil sketch by Dave Dorman on the bottom. Each one has an original pencil sketch. Each one is signed and numbered by the artist. We only have a uh, hundred of them. Well, now we have less than half of that. $150 exclusive to QVC. And Greg and Tim Hildebrandt are going to join me with the Shadows of the Empire card set with the promo card. The promo card, which is autographed by them. The promo card only went out to the dealers. So you get quite a treasure there. 90, 90 cards in that set. Great set. And the trilogy. If you're on the line, you can you can hang up. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm, you know, I've been saying that for nine years. <laughs> it's hard to break this habit. But anyway, uh, it is completely sold out. But there's so much more coming up. So many new things. So much fun. that We have a lot of your faxes we're going to be getting to uh, next. It's been a very busy show. And Teddy Bear Tuesday is tomorrow. Never before on QVC, Natalie is sure to delight every collector on your list. She's the 10th angel in the beautiful Angel Bear series from teddy bear enthusiast Annette Funicello. Perfect for the holidays, she comes with a heartwarming surprise. Tune in and find out what that surprise is during our two-hour edition of Annette Funicello's Teddy Bears. This Teddy Bear Tuesday at 4 p.m. Eastern on QVC. From, from Sue in I Walnut, this is great, from Sue in Walnut Creek, Cal California, stop me before I collect again. My favorite Star Wars collectible is my Boba Fett tattoo. But unfortunately... Uh, it's Boba Fett at nighttime. <laughs> <laughs> Sue, what happened? So, so maybe, maybe, it's, maybe it's just as well, because you didn't and, say where the tattoo yeah, was. Maybe so. it was censored. Yeah, so uh, you see, when you sit on the copy machine, it's kind of tough sometimes. Anyway, Sue, that's great. Thank you. <laughs> that's a great fact. All right. Uh, we'll get to uh, more of your faxes. Another brand new exclusive item to QVC. This is the fifth in the Gold Card series. The original poster that the Hildebrands did for Star Wars. Limited to 10,000 pieces. Each one will be individually numbered on the back. Card sets, they usually make a half a million or a million in the world of sports cards. So 10,000 is a drop in the collector's bucket. This is one of the nicest ones. I really oh, this, like this. This, this is, is uh, This is beautiful. This is. this is the style A art that the Hildebrands and Tom Young did. Actually, this is probably the Tom Young version. Tom, Tom Young version? Okay. It's a little tighter drawn. And oh, right, yes. Okay. So, uh, but, it, but it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful sheet. And look oh, how, yeah. look at the detail. I mean, it even holds the R2-D2 yeah. and the C-3PO, how small they are in the corner there. Look at it just one. comes out brilliantly. Thing. Just brilliantly. I mean, that's yes. a great piece. So if you have this poster, man, it would be really nice, even if you don't have all that's the right. other gold cards. Mm -hmm. If you have the gold cards, you obviously have right. to, mm -hmm. you know, you, you really it's want this. But uh, Number five in the series, brand new, exclusive to QVC. Hmm. And exclusive on the primary market, because what happens a lot of times, 
If you look at the computer, somebody will come in and buy 10 of them. Well, there are a lot of dedicated collectors, but nobody's going to buy 10 for themselves. That's a dealer oh, buying them, and then they're going to mark them up at the convention. I've seen the gold cards at the convention yep. for twice or more what we sell them for here. So, yeah. Oh, that's just really nice. And it's, what, 24 karat gold? 24, uh, 23. 23, 23 karat gold on this. We have a 24 karat gold ingot coming up. A, a coat, I think it coated with 24 karat gold. Coming up in a little bit, but first we go to the phone lines. Hi, you're on QVC with Steve Sansweet. I'm glad you could join us. What's your name? Where do you live, please? Hi, this is Brent in Kansas City. Hi, Brent. Hey, Brent. How are you guys doing this evening? Good. Doing well. Thank you. How about you and yours? Real good. All right. How about this gold card? What made it special to you, Brent? Well, I've uh, been purchasing your exclusive gold cards for uh, about the last six months or so and uh, hoping to complete a collection. Mm. Well, you've got number five right here, and this, I think this is going to be a lot of people's favorite. I mean, coming from one of those original movie posters. Yep. This is really nice. And a great looking card. And of course, the, the movies are going to be popular all over again come the end of January with the re-release of Star Wars. Yeah. I'm sure you'll see a lot of the posters come back and uh, a lot of the original material. You know what's going to be kind of neat about the re-release of Star Wars, Brent? I think it's going to be the first time in over a decade We've seen lines of theater goers going around the block waiting to get into a movie. I hope to be one of the first ones here. I'm going to be first. It'll be a noontime showing. I already know the digital theater it's going to be playing at. And I've cleared the decks. I'm going to be right there that day and eat enough popcorn to choke a horse. Sounds good. All right, man. Hey, enjoy your new card. You have a great evening. We'll, we'll see you in line, Brent. Yeah, please. Thanks. Absolutely. This, this is going to be something. And, of course... They've begun work. We'll be talking about that a little later in the show on the prequel. Yes. On the prequel. Very, very exciting Been stuff. In pre-production. You get a first crack at this right here, exclusive to QVC, brand new piece, the gold foil card from the original movie poster. And you said the artwork on this was done probably by? Tom Young. This was to uh, the Tom Young poster. Right. It's the, 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 Greg and Tim Hildebrandt did one version of it, and Tom right. Young did okay. another. Okay. This is the, the Tom Young version of it. And as you dial in for this, we'll go to the phones again. Hi. You're on QVC with Steve Sansweet. Glad you could be on the air. Hello. Hi. This is David Leffel from Richmond, Indiana. Hi, Hi, Dave. Turn that TV down for us, will you please? Okay. Hold on. All right. There we go. Excellent. Hey, why this gold card for you tonight? Excuse me? Why this gold card for you tonight? Um, this is about something I've been really looking for for a real long time. And now I finally have it. <laughs> well, good. Do you, have, do you have any of the other gold cards? Uh, no. Not yet. Well, uh, here's your here's your chance to start. Yeah. Yep. And in fact, um, I think we're going to have one of the other ones on a little later. I think if time permits, there's one of the earlier ones. This is this is the brand new the the brand new number five release. Uh, I'm I'm glad we had it for you. Thanks for being on the air with us tonight. Okay. Thank Thanks, you. Brent. Appreciate it. Bye bye. Yep, or Dave. Dave. This is for twenty nine dollars though to get to oh, get it's something a great car. limited to this with limited to ten thousand pieces with a certificate of authenticity. And uh, phone lines very busy for this as we go to those busy phones again. Hi, you're on QBC with Steve Sansweet on Star Wars. Hello. Hi, what's your name? Where do you live? Dave from Norfolk, Virginia. Hey, Hi, Dave. Dave. Another Dave. Dave, why this one for you? Uh, I've got them all except for the first one. I'm trying to keep up with them. Ah, okay. Yeah, that first one I think was a complete. Uh, I'm not sure. It might have been a complete sellout. We're close to it. Well, you might see you might see it pop back in another show. Well, I'm hoping. Well, great. Well, you've got a nice one here, though. A real, a real fine collectible. Yeah. You can see the relief on that. As, as Steve pointed out earlier, even, uh, you know, C-3PO and R2-D2 back there, just yep. exquisitely Super. detailed. What else do you collect, Dave? Uh, action figures and uh, some of the vehicles and stuff. Great. Well, this is a nice addition yeah. to the collection. I just, I have to admit, uh, I am very desirous of a Slave One. I think if I can find one out at the local toy store, I'm going to have to pick up a Slave One. <laughs> that looks, that looks way cool too ship. cool. Yep. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Well, we will rush this off to you, and I'm glad you had a chance to join us tonight. Thanks, Dave. Well, thank you. All okay. Right, Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Yeah. You get an idea, as you look at the screen, how popular this is. Brand new, exclusive to QVC. C36-429. A chance to, to get quite a value on, on these gold cards. As you said, you've seen them at the conventions going for. Don't leave home without one. There you have it. Why <laughs> didn't we ever say that before? No. I like that. I like that. As we, we go to the phones one more time. Oh, okay. Wheeler's been writing your material. Yeah. Hi, you're live on QVC with Steve Sansweet. Welcome to the show. 
Hello, uh, this is Nancy, and I'm calling from Ohio. Hi. Hello, Nancy. <laughs> Hi. Oh, I really enjoy your show, and I just love to watch you, Steve. <laughs> well, we, we both right. Well, we're both Steve. Yeah, so. right. Oh, you're both Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Two Steve's no waiting here. Um, waiting. Have you picked up one of the gold cards? Or? Yes. Great. Uh, my daughter is quite a collector of Star Wars. She's been uh, collecting memorabilia ever since the Star Wars show first came out. Super. Mm -hmm. So she has a pretty good little collection then. Yes, she does. Great. So she's the one that encouraged me uh, to get it this evening. Well, and I'm just and so you know, thrilled to be talking to you. And well, great. What, what's, what's her name? Uh, her name is Amy. Well, Amy, you're getting a dynamite collectible right. coming your way. Great piece. Oh, it's, it's, well, she uh, would have liked to have had the original poster, but she didn't never got to get that one. Well, actually, they've, they've reprinted it, so you can still find some of those yeah. now in the, in the stores at a fairly reasonable price. Oh, well, that's good. We'll keep an eye out for okay. them. Okay, good luck. Good deal. Nancy, thank you. Nice phone call tonight. Oh, may I just say hi to my sister, Betty, and mentor? Sure. <laughs> and we'll do it too. Hi, Betty. Hi, Betty. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Nancy. Okay, Steve, night, thanks bye. so much. You're welcome. Good night. Bye-bye. Yeah, we charge him 10 bucks for that. Oh, it's that's a little bad. profit. Hey. Anyway, C36, 429, the brand new movie poster gold card. That's quite a value for $29. Speaking of gold, brand new. And this is the brand new poster. Your first look at the artwork for the brand new poster for the re release of the original movie coming out at the end of January. The Star Wars 24 karat gold coated ingot. Just $75. C36579. And there he is. We only have about a dozen, dozen of these in stock. There's Jabba sitting on his repulsor sled, getting ready to eat something slimy and uh, fondle Carrie Fisher. That life's, life's good for life's good for Jabba. Anyway, you pick up that little one of the little squirmy things yes, going along and just, a lot of bugs. Yeah, yes, $250. C34409. And a little trivia for you. We'll have the answer in just a minute, but what was Governor Tarkin's other title? Other title. What was that? You'll find out in just a little bit. Good, good questions. I was going through, I was going through the good questions. Well, that's a, that's, that's going to stretch, that's going to stretch you out right there. By the way, very, very quickly, let's just grab a fax here. This is from, uh, let's see, from Kathleen Weston in Orange, Texas. My favorite Star Wars collectibles are my record albums, especially the story of Star Wars picture disc and their Turn of the Jedi picture discs. That's wonderful. Excellent. And from John in California, Yoda, because he's cool. <laughs> <laughs> we, have some, we have tons of facts. There's so much new stuff. It's, we'll, we'll try to work them in. This is magnificent. This, this is a home run. Beautiful. Al, beautiful. Al Williamson, what a, what a talent. I mean, we've had two, two dynamite artists. So on tonight, Dorman and, and Williams. Right, and we had the, we had the Luke Skywalker print on an earlier show. This is just amazing. Brand new to QVC, exclusive to QVC, a limited edition. You ready for this? Only 100 of these will ever be created. Each one will be individually numbered. It's an officially licensed lithograph, and a better view of the Lord of Sith you will not find. $200 for C36430. It's huge, too. It's 29 inches square, framed, matted, ready to hang, ready to display. And boy, what a, what a centerpiece for a Star Wars collection. What is there about villains that attracts us? I mean... I, know, <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 I'm letting a little cat out of the bag. A major television show uh, wants me to play a villain uh, in, coming up in the winter. Cool. Yeah, well, they asked me. They said, would you mind? Would you no, mind? That's Would you weird. mind? I said, you kidding? Us? They have all the camera. Well, they have all the fun. That's much better. <laughs> they, that's you, much you better. get to really, you get to really kind of ham it up. When well, when doing. Dave Prowse was asked whether he wanted to play Darth Vader or Chewbacca at the very beginning, he said, mm -hmm. "I'll take the villain role." There you go. He knew. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And of course, uh, Al Williamson, what an what an artist. Right. Some of these are adapted from uh, Al Williams' original cartoon art. He, mm -hmm. he did. Uh, some, just some wonderful stuff early on in the in the Star Wars universe, and in fact, he was uh, George Lucas's uh, choice to oh, do great. the strip. Mm -hmm. Didn't that's do it at first, but came in but, later. But came in later, and yeah. did uh, the one of the comic adaptations too. Right. With that, that that style, though, I mean, to capture that maniacal look, that uh, incredible malevolent evil. But this is a cool piece because of the process 
it doesn't have any of that dot pattern that you get often that's when right. you print something. It's, it's continuous just, print, right? Uh, that, and continuous that's... tone, it real, and it look it works mm -hmm. really well with this piece. Limited to now, think of the think of the prize you're getting. Limited to an edition of 100 pieces. Now realize too, the kind of heads up you're getting here is we're in the end of October. Do you realize what's going to happen in the world of Star Wars collectibles come the end of January? Can you say the word kaboom? It's it's going to it's going to explode. It's just going to it's going to go. Sky, the sky is going to be the limit. I mean, when this, uh, let's see, the, the, the picture itself is, you know, the picture itself is not numbered. What will be numbered is the certificate. Is it, we don't have the certificate. That's how new this is. We do not have a sample of the certificate here. But you, only 100 of these are now a lot less than that. So each one with a, with a numbered certificate. And with a look like this, you wouldn't want a number. You wouldn't want a number down here because this, this you're getting a, you're getting an overall, you're getting a gestalt here, this whole thing. Is just gonna, <laughs> just a, first time I ever said that word on the air. I like that. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Darth, Darth it's Vader. It's almost like liquid metal in yeah. the way that has that Terminator kind of look to it. It's, this, uh, what, a, what a thing to put in your office. Great piece. I mean, he's, Darth Vader's, Vader's kind of my hero, because someday I want to go into corporate management. C-36-430, framed, big face lithograph, brand new, limited to only 100 pieces, for the certificate of authenticity in that continuous tone process and so no dots so you that's why you're getting that kind of detail by the way at this point in time a third of the dave dorman autographed books have been now think of it dave dorman brand new not in the stores yet autographed by dave we had him on the air a little bit earlier via telephone 25 dollars and still available in the show is that brand new book not yet in the stores will not be for weeks you're getting the jump on everybody 22 dollars Autograph by Christine Rush, F15058. And our trivia question, Governor Tarkin's other title? He was... He was... <laughs> what a key. Grand Moth. I always thought that was the thing with fur that you I, put around I, your hand. I, I thought that, I the, grand, the Grand... Or <laughs> what do I know? The Grand, the grand Moth. All right. The coolest t-shirts we have ever offered on QVC. I like this. One. This this is wonderful. Darth Vader, I want you for the Imperial Forces. Travel to exotic distant galaxies. Meet a wretched hive of scum and villainy and disintegrate them. <laughs> Until that last line it sounds like my yeah, first right. here. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> all right, is that Look uh, at this look is cool. At the detail this on is that. cool, yeah. Han Solo frozen in carbonite. Which, by the way, if we get to it, will be the basis of one of the trivia questions coming up, because Carbonite wasn't originally intended for Han Solo. He was only the test. Mm -hmm. You learn about that. This is actually uh, almost three-dimensional. It's, it's puffed. It's, yeah. it's a puff print of it's that. It's great. Oh. So the Carbonite wrinkles are puffed. That's right. It really does look 3D. I mean, you can see it on the, on the screen. It looks great. And there are yeah. a few of these left. That's beautiful. Where do you see this in person? This this will stop you. The Boba Fett T-shirt. Boba Fett, one of the uh, greatest bounty hunters for and the he's, Imperial uh, Forces. Firing one of his wrist rockets at you. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, man. The one who brought Han Solo down. I wonder if this is what Sue's tattoo looked like. <laughs> yes, it was. We'll it? never know. Was, was, was this it? Uh, that, was, that, was, that was a great fact. <laughs> that's a great fact. Sir. These are, these oh, are yeah, these are large and extra large Great. available, 100% cotton, totally machine washable, even with all the printing. This is, this is the, I don't know, I think Boba Fett is the coolest, but this one, you know, travel to exotic distant galaxies, meet a wretched hive of scum and villainy, and disintegrate them. Well, we all have our favorites. I'm sort of partial to Han and Carbonite. Carbonite. Yeah. That cool. was, very cool. that had to have been some of the most painful Ouch. makeup. Ouch. Yeah, that had to not, not have been a pleasant, yeah. Great a piece. pleasant experience. But your choice. Be a lot of fun. Uh, you know, your T-shirts have kind of had a lot of a lot of sweat and strain through the summertime. Time to pick up some new ones. These are brand new to QVC, and I have, I do a lot of cruising in collectible stores and what have you. I have never seen these out there. No, these are uh, these are fairly new, um, and you can never have too many Star Wars T-shirts. That's right. It's written. That's that's right. And uh, Boba Fett will be the first one. Will be the first one to uh, to sell out Boba Fett, or as we like to call him, Bob Fett. Bob? Right here. Bob. Yeah, in the kitchen mm. with Bob Fett. It's going to be a, a concept show we're going to be doing a little bit later on where, where he'll cook for you, and then he'll freeze you in carbonite and, and make you eat it. So that's the whole thing. Anyway, Sue, of course, being the patriotic person, 
that she is. Sue, here's here's as here's as close as all of you at home will ever get to Sue saying, "I want you." Okay, right there. Oh. Boba just sold out an extra large. Boba Fett just sold out an extra large. That's a great rendering of uh, Darth Vader. That's an excellent rendering of Darth Vader. Obviously, the phone's very, very busy whenever we offer a, a value like this, so hang in there. So far, Boba Fett available in large. The other one's available in large and extra large. Your chance. Boy, imagine getting your shirt now and, you know, washing it a couple of times, getting it nice and, you know, worn in, and then come January 31st, going to see the new release of Star Wars. As we head over to the QVC Lucky Number Machine, 24th of November, somebody's going to win 100 grand. It's now time to draw another set of numbers in QVC's 10th anniversary Lucky Number Sweepstakes. If the sequence of either the first four or the last four digits of your Q member number match the number we draw, and you call 1-800-345-1515 to register before our next lucky number is drawn, you win a $10 QVC merchandise credit. Then each Sunday from September 22nd to November 24th, all the winners from the previous week will be entered for a chance to win $1,000 in QVC merchandise credit. And best of all, every lucky number winner will be entered in QVC's 10th anniversary lucky number sweepstakes. And on November 24th, QVC's 10th anniversary date, we'll draw our grand prize winner who received $100,000 cash. Okay, Boba Fett, oh, it's uh, 20, 2069. 2069 is the new lucky number. Boba Fett completely sold out on the T-shirt. Boba Fett sold out. If you're on the line, stay on the line. Very, very busy, but uh, this could well be last call. Only one-third of our original supply remains. We haven't done the presentation yet. Each one with an original Dave Dorman sketch. That's that sketch of Boba Fett on the bottom with that good-sized lithograph. Each one numbered by the artist, $150, C36. 432, and uh, coming up in just a moment with Greg and Tim Hildebrandt, we have the Shadows of the Empire uncut card, uncut trading card sheet. That is a QVC exclusive. Nobody will ever have that on the primary market except us. Stay with us. We're very, very busy in the phone lines. We will see you with the Hildebrandts in a moment. QVC. Eterna Gold is the perfect blend of beauty and unprecedented strength in ultra-luminous 14-karat gold. And this Tuesday, we'll bring you our largest selection and the most new styles you'll see before the holidays during two two-hour Eterna Gold specials, featuring the strongest, shiniest, most scratch-resistant type of 14-karat gold guaranteed to last a lifetime exceptionally durable eternally bright undeniably beautiful eternal gold don't miss two two-hour presentations this tuesday at 9 a.m and again at 10 p.m eastern only on qvc if you're wondering who's got the right championship stuff then don't miss QVC's two-hour lineup of championship baseball memorabilia featuring this year's top team during Baseball Collectibles World Series Wrap-Up, Tuesday starting at 8 p.m. Eastern on QVC. This is such a treat for us. Join me in welcoming Tim and Greg Hildebrandt, Hi, QBC. Tim. Hey, Tim. Greg, welcome Tim. back. Yeah. Joined us two years ago in a fantasy show. Everything you offered sold out to the wall. You have given us such an opportunity. This is a world premiere. The brand new trading card set for Shadows of the Empire, the Steve Perry book that just took the world by storm. This, this is wild. And we're going to talk about the set of trading cards. These are the 90 common cards in the set, the 90 cards and the dealer's card, the promotional dealer's card, which both of you signed. Right. 
And this is something. They're all in front of me here. And as klutzy as I've been tonight, if I try to lean any further forward, they're all going down. But you'll, you'll see all of them. And we also have the Shadows of the Empire. Guys, that's the, uh, that's the uncut sheet. That's the uncut sheet, okay? Okay, there you go. Uh, we're showing the, wrong, the uh, wrong graphic. This is the card set with the autographed card, autographed by two of the leading uh, artists in the world of science fiction. I'm going to brag on you now. Uh, in science fiction and fantasy, doing the original Star Wars movie poster. Right. And so much other uh, just phenomenal artwork down the line. And then this had to be such a challenge because you were creating... Man, I mean, you had some of the, uh, obviously the familiar characters, but you were creating a lot of this from scratch because this was a printed book. This was based on a novel. But new environments to yeah. some extent, and mm -hmm. certainly new characters. Uh, we were very fortunate in having uh, a lot of models come over with all the costumes out of the film that we used. Mm -hmm. So that it's very accurate. Right. Yeah. It, it, it is now. Now, the uncut sheet will be offered in just a moment. Keep that in mind. This is... The world premiere of these cards will not be in the stores for weeks. And again, I ask you to think about what's going to happen, what's going to happen down the line. This will not, by the way, this will not make it to the end of the show. This will not even make it to the end of the presentation. This, this is an absolute coup. I did even use the full, this is a coup d'etat. We, we scooped everybody on this one to get this first, to get 90 cards with the promotional dealer's card signed by the Hildebrands to get a certificate of authenticity that comes along with it. And let's see if I have... See, I told you. Just a little... <laughs> just a little klutzy tonight. I don't even have that promotional card. Uh, Kevin, can you get a shot of that in the front? Because I'd have to walk around to the front to, to see that, the way these are all displayed right now. But signed by the Hildebrands, and a chance for you to get... Uh, now half of these. Half of these have been ordered that, that, that quickly on. How long did it take to create the artwork for something like this? Let's see. About, about a year. It, the painting time was probably about four or five months. Then a drawing painting. time. Just right. painting, yeah. Then all the, the, the mm -hmm. layouts and the drawing and the photography. The drawing takes the longest because you have to do all the research at that oh, point. Oh, yeah. Painting is like eating uh, uh, the, the dessert. It's the most fun. Oh, yeah. Well, and and the fastest. Well, I'm going to say you get the fruits of your labor because then when you're painted, these are cards that were taken from hand-painted artwork from the Hildebrands. What was... What were some of the more challenging new characters that we're going to meet? Mm, Shizor. Shizor, oh, yeah, the, the, the new villain. Yeah. Yeah, you were yeah. talking about villains before being the most fun. Yeah, well, that guy was the most fun to paint here. Yeah. Oh, super, super. And Gur Guri, too, that, that character droid, standing next girl. to his oh, yes, the the droid. The, yeah, oh, yeah. She, she was a fun Dash Rendar. Mm -hmm. He's the, the hero. hero. Oh, yes, yes. But powerful. all of them were fun. Powerful stuff, powerful paintings. Two-thirds gone. Let's go to the phone lines very, very quickly, and we'll get to the uncut sheet in a moment. Hi. You're live on QBC with uh, Tim and Greg Hildebrandt. Welcome to the show. What's your name? Where do you live, please? Hello. Oh, hello. It's you. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> how you doing? My Tim? name's Jerry from Chicago. Hey, Jerry. Hi, Jerry. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. Good. Having fun tonight. Jerry, what a set of cards this is. Those are pretty neat. They have a lot of nice color. And oh. I like the way they're drawn. They're dynamite. They really yeah. are. Now, just add about three to five days to your regular QVC shipping and handling. That's how new these are. And by the way, you're not only getting the 90 common cards, there's that promotional dealer's card. Yeah, I but, like that. That's And that's, nice that's the one that's autographed. That. Can you imagine getting, getting twin autographs? I mean, that's, that's just a, a, a prize. Yeah, that's an absolute prize. That's like... That's like going into the cereal box and getting the songbird, not getting Sky King or Penny or something. You know, you're getting, getting the real payoff there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> little little 50s TV arcane arcane yeah, there. <laughs> well, have fun with this. This is this is going to be something to enjoy, to read about, to learn about these characters. Shadows of the Empire. You're going to see the figures coming out. This they're already out in some of the toy stores right now. The figures, the story. It's really set the stage for uh, some real new Star Wars excitement. Very nice uh, artwork. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thank you very yeah, much. I'm, I'm glad we, we could have, have it fun for doing you. it. Thanks for yeah. joining us. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. This set of QBC exclusive with this signed card. Now, when you realize that you're getting a whole new universe here, I mean, you're getting all the regular characters, right. all the new bad guys and good guys that have come into it, and uh, to get a year's worth of work and to get a card set before anybody else is going to have it, and to get that promotional card, which 
which you signed. Now we're, we're actually, we have a lot more, we had a lot more time to spend on this, but we're going to wrap this one up a little bit early because less than 100 of these remain in stock right now. $45 with the two autographs, C36, 433. Don't you go, it's last call on this. Don't you go anywhere there. We have another QVC exclusive coming up right after that. Still available in the show, we have some pop-up books. These are fun. Your choice of pop-up books, either uh, the Bounty Hunter book or uh, the books about the starships. Either $16 or $17. See 35 846 And a look at the new Star Wars poster. $75. See 36 579 The Star Wars Trilogy Ingot. That's coated in 24 karat gold. That one's $75. See 36 579 When Luke Skywalker was most vulnerable. This is a dangerous time for you. It is you and your abilities the Emperor wants. When a renegade hero became a friend in desperate need. And a dark villain faced his greatest challenge. Join me, and together we can rule the galaxy as father and son. When the Empire turned more and more to the forces of the underworld. Bounty hunters. We don't need that scum. <laughs> the underworld moved in to crush the Empire and the Rebellion in a single stroke. After the Empire Strikes Back and before Return of the Jedi, there was a time when heroes and villains alike lived in the shadows of the Empire. Tim and Greg Hildebrand. This, oh, by the way, an update for you, and don't say we didn't tell you, it's gone. Thank you so, well, can't, any of these new things we can't say thank you. <laughs> anyway, but it, it's completely right. sold out. However, a QVC exclusive. The same set of cards on an uncut sheet. Think of what a treasure this is, all from Shadows of the Empire. All 90 cards in this, of course, a saga that took place but really the first Star Trek uh, story to come out taking place during the timeline of the original trilogy. Right. Taking place between The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. Look at the detailing on those cards. A year's worth of work. Four months to do the painting. Each, I mean, you can tell. It was actually like doing a storyboard for a film for us. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Look at that. That's, that's just... Yeah, kind of a, a elaborate storyboard. Elaborate. I'm going to say very uh, elaborate storyboard. Very elaborate, and this is so authentic. It even has the printer's guide on the side. Those are the printer's color guides right. that would come on the uncut mm -hmm. sheet. Only available from QVC. Again, another treasure, artwork from the Hildebrands. And of course, your your life in Star Trek goes back to the original film. Yes, done in 36 hours. Really? That poster, right? That poster, that's yeah. Right. I, that's right. I'd forgotten we, that. We had we had nine days before the film was due, and they wanted it overnight. Literally. Tim slept. I painted. <laughs> yep. Then. And then he first it. Yeah. Switched it back and forth. Oh boy. Well, your your work in the world of trading cards, the things you've done for Marvel, have just you've you've taken it up. Uh, kind of like Dave Dorman took comic art up. You've right. taken the world of card art up so many clicks. I mean, it's. <laughs> It, it was it's just so wild to see to see your art in in the world of trading cards thanks a lot Steve. oh you're welcome it's, it's, it's been a just, lot of fun it's like being a kid again well that's doing that, this stuff what you know? a fun job yeah. this must be what a, i mean really? it, a phenomenal amount of work but when you see the payoff when you realize you've created an entire universe right. of characters an entire world or worlds i should say fitting into an existing storyline well, Lots of explosions. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, really? <laughs> That's great. Asteroids and everything. Spaceships. Oh, this is, this is wild. Let's run to those phone lines again. This one, not destined to make the uh, end of the show either. Hi, you're live on QBC with Greg and Tim Hildebrandt. Welcome to the show. Hello, how's it going? Hey, going Hi. well. Hi. What's your name? Where do you live? Uh, my name's Jason. I'm from Mesa, Arizona. Hi, Jason. Hi, Jason. How's it going? Jason, what made this important to you? Well, I'm going to add to my collection for the uh, Return of the Jedi uncut sheets that I purchased on one of the last shows. Mm. So. <laughs> Jason, the, look at the artwork here. Look at the... the, the, the there has to be a word somewhere beyond detail for this. I mean, this, these, these are stunning. Yeah, 
these, these are something to see. Is there, have you read the book? I have not read the book yet, no. Do it. Um, Do it. You, it. It will especially, you know what would be so cool? To have the uncut sheet there, to be reading the book, and then to look up, because on the back of this, Jason, I'm going to flip it around now. On the back, of course, you, as you would expect with a fine set of trading cards, you're going to get all the, all the details of all the characters and what's going on, so it really will help to reinforce the story. All right, we'll, we'll ship this off to you. Thanks for joining us on the air. Okay, well, thank you. You're welcome. So long. Bye, Bye, Jason. It is a great story. It's yes, yes. It very exciting. Very exciting. Couldn't put the book down. Yeah, it, it, is, it is a power, powerhouse, powerhouse story. Oh, man. She's where you've, you've... Yeah. He's... He turns 11. colors. Well, that's right. Green really, to red. That's right. And that's right. He's sort of like a living it's... mood ring. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> And you don't know if he dies at the end. It's all that's, left a yeah. mystery. That's yeah. right. I, he's, he's too cool to die. Yeah. He's yeah, too yeah. cool. On, he's he's got to he's gotta be coming back. Let's go to those very busy phone lines again. Very limited supply. If this needs to be yours, needs to be yours rather quickly. Hi. You're on QVC with the Hildebrands. Hey, my name is Sandy from Rio Rancho, New Mexico. Hi, Hi Sandy. Sandy. Well, we just bought the Shadow of the Empire trading card and the, the lithograph that you're selling on the Dark Vader. Oh, yeah, and you got the uncut sheet, too. Yeah. We have a nine-year-old that he's crazy about Star Wars. And, uh, that is so good to hear. That's great. <laughs> yeah, he has us buying all the toys now for Christmas holiday, and he doesn't want to get them out of the box because he's collecting them, mm -hmm. you know? So we're really excited about your show. Oh, look at, look at Chewbacca. What a, what a wonderful rendering of Chewbacca. It's beautiful. It's a flat top haircut. Oh, that's right. Yeah. He's to disguise, he's to disguise <laughs> himself so you don't recognize him. Right. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, right. He's 200 years old. Uh, according to, uh, to Star Wars mm -hmm. mythos. He's 200 right. years old, so you're probably going to be seeing him in the prequel. He'll probably be popping up in some of those earlier sure. tales. When is this, the movie supposed to be released? Well, the new one, theoretically, Steve, what are we talking, like uh, 98 now? 99. 99. 1999. 1999, wow. But the new Star Wars with the new digital image footage, uh, digital imagery footage is going to be out at uh, the end of January. I know. I heard yeah. you say that earlier, and I'm really excited. I guess I'm going to have to take the whole family to see it again. <laughs> oh, really? You have to. You have, oh, look at, I, you know, I, I looked at the sheet when I came in, but to see it this way, to get individual looks at each and every one of these cards, what a... What a Sandy, what a treasure you're it, getting. It's a big treat, and I can't wait. I'm going to have it framed oh, and yeah. hopefully put it underneath the Christmas tree and give him a great big treat. Oh, he'll great flip. Good. He will flip. And good for, good for him that he's, he said he's nine, and he's already got the responsibilities of a real serious collector. He does. He, he just, every Saturday, he rushes us to the store. He knows that mm -hmm. this special is on right now, mm -hmm. and he has to go to sleep because he has to go to school tomorrow, oh, but we're recording it for him, Oh great! and I know he'll drive me crazy saying, I want this and I want that, <laughs> <laughs> but I'll fast forward through this one so that way he won't know that he got it. Well, good. I'm, right. I'm glad we had it for you. Thank you so much for the call. Oh, uh, thank you for letting me speak to you, uh, and thank you very much for all your merchandise and everything because I really appreciate everything. Oh, uh, you're welcome. Our uh, pleasure. Have a nice holiday. You too. Bye-bye. This is kind of kind of cool. I feel like the unknown comic back here. <laughs> but that's how big this is. This, this is huge. This is 39 and 3 quarter by 27 and a quarter inches. Exclusive to QVC. Simply add three to five days to your QVC shipping and handling. The 90 common cards from the set in an uncut sheet that will only ever be available on the primary market on QVC with artwork by some of the premier science fiction and fantasy artists of our time. Tim and Greg Hildebrandt. We go to the phones one more time. Hi, you're on QVC with Tim and Greg and the guy behind the sheet. Hi, how are you guys doing? Good. Very good. Well, how are you? thank you. It's nice talking to you guys. You know, I'm a huge fan of Star Wars. Um, and as a matter of fact, I'm a huge fan of uh, Tim and Greg as well. Um, I, I'm fortunate enough to own a copy of the poster that they drew. And wow. uh, I have it signed and autographed by them as well. Great. Um, wow. So, this is just something else well, to add to my it. collection, and I really appreciate it. I'm glad we had it. What's your name? Where do you live, by the way? My name is Jason. I'm from Mass um, actually from New Jersey. All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jason. And uh, Star Wars, I've been a fan of Star Wars for as long as I can remember. You're going to be yeah. first in line for the uh, newly released first film in January? I look forward to it, I'll, even if I have to take a day off from work. I, I've, <laughs> I've already got the day locked as a vacation day, Jason. I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. <laughs> That'll be me, too. All right, man. 
I thank you very much. Enjoy. Enjoy. Have Bye-bye. a good night. You too. Bye-bye. 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 This, this is such a treat. What's, what's happening in the future of the Hildebrands? What's next? Oh, God, half a dozen different things. <laughs> Some original concepts that we're coming up with, uh, self-generated uh-huh. ideas. Uh, a lot of work for Marvel, more Marvel mm-hmm. project, oh. projects. You know. Oh, great. We'll probably be doing a Captain America with Joe Simon, who's mm-hmm. the creator of Captain America. Oh, yes. He's still mm-hmm. alive, Joe. He's 83. That's right. That's and, right. And, uh, oh. Yeah. Just, and on and on and on. Oh, that's, that's terrific. Excellent. Well, so nice to have you join us. Thanks, Thank Steve. you. Great Tim and thank Greg Hildebrand, thank you. If you're on the line for this day on the line, while supplies last, it will not make it to the end of the show at this point in time. Brand new and exclusive to us, $49, C36, 431 Still available. Now it is absolute last call. We will not get a chance to do the presentation. The Boba Fett lithographs with individual sketches. Each one has an individual pencil sketch of Boba Fett on the bottom. Each one numbered by artist Dave Dorman. A real prize, $150. T-shirts, T-shirts, T-shirts. Very limited, Darth Vader and Han Solo. Very, very limited. A36724. And right now, let's see what's happening with David Venom. Thank you, Steve. We've got big, bold gold at midnight with a brand new Today Special Value. I guess I shouldn't say brand new because we feature this as a Today Special Value. And start dialing in early and make sure that you've got your automated ordering number handy because it's going to be very, very busy. We're going to go back now to Star Wars Collectibles with Steve Bryant. And uh, in the three hours that David was speaking, the Boba Fett lithograph has completely <laughs> sold out. Actually, every, the whole show is sold out while he was no, talking, no. so we're going to close. No. no. Boba Fett is gone, though. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much for your calls on that. And speaking of Boba Fett. Speaking of, yeah. Ooh. A pop-up. Boba Fett. How wild is this? Your choice of pop-up books right now. $16 or $17. The uh, Bounty Hunters book is $17. Or the uh, Star Wars Rebel Alliance ships or the Galactic Empire ships. Those are $16. Oh. Look at these. Uh, look how much, how much fun is this? Go, go, going through this with one of your little ones, telling them, I love, you love this kaboom. It's in, it's in the 3D. Nice little story about Boba Fett as he ferries Han Solo back to Jabba the Hutt. Jabba the Hutt. Uh, 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 uh. Jabba the Hutt, the model for every mid-level manager I've ever worked with. And uh, You do find a lot of uh, people you know in the Star Wars trilogy, you don't do you? You do indeed, you do. Now, this, this is the Boba Fett, this is the Bounty Hunter book. That one's available, or you're holding... Uh, which one is that? I am holding the Rebel Alliance. Oh, yeah. Yeah. With please. all the great starships, yeah. the pop-up versions of starships, and some great stories about them, some of the facts and figures behind the propulsion systems, the weapon systems. It gives you kind of a interesting... Oh, pop-up interesting X-Wing view. here. Ooh, oh, yeah. look at that go. Yeah. And then we have... Right. The Galactic Empire. Mm. Nice little uh, TIE fighter yeah. coming at you. There she is. Twin ion engines beaming. Oh, I like this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's pretty cool. The ADAT and the Yeah. Oh, very yeah. nice. Oh yeah. Neat that's stuff. Cool. This these are just one of those one collectibles you have is just sort of fun to just show it off, especially if you have kids that are getting into the world of Star Wars. This would be a real treat for them. By the way, while we have a moment here, because we've we've got tons and tons of faxes here. Favorite Star Wars collectibles. My favorite Star Wars collectibles are the Star Wars action figures because my cousin has all the old ones, and I have most of the new ones. That's from Joey Finnis of New Providence, New Jersey. Uh, Joey, if your cousin has all the old ones, steal them from him. Come on. Okay. And <clears throat> just, just distract him and say, hey, look, the Goodyear blimp. And while he's looking, jab him. Steve. Jab him and run. Use That's... the force, Steve. <laughs> okay. And uh, let's see. This is from uh, Luis Hernandez. Luis Hernandez says, my favorite Star Wars item is the X-Wing versus the TIE Fighter computer game, because it's cool. And that's amazing, because it hasn't come out yet, either. Yeah, excellent. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but, but he's getting excited. Oh, okay. Now. He's getting excited. And let's see. My favorite, this is from Kathy Miller of Evans, Evansville, Indiana. My favorite Star Wars collectible is the original set of 12-inch dolls. I feel they were well done, very lifelike, with lots of attention to detail. And a special hello to Steve Sansweet. You're a Star Wars collector's hero. That's well, from thank Kathy, you, Kathy in Evansville. Kathy, 
Steve will be sending you money. For Great. That. <laughs> All right. And in a moment, I'll show you my favorite Star Wars collectible. But right now, your pop-up books, $16 or $17. How about that gold foil card? Exclusive to QVC, brand new. The fifth one in the series. Half of those have been ordered. $29, C36, $429. Uh -oh. I haven't placed my order yet. Can I, I leave? I was going to say, really, I, it kills me, that Boba Fett poster. Yeah. Sold out. I really want those. Okay, the litho. I'm not going to get a limited edition of 100. Now only a dozen remain, and that's it. That'll be the end of the edition. That 29 by 29 inch framed lithograph done on that continuous Beautiful tone piece. process. Al Williamson artwork at its finest. $200 framed and matted, ready to display while supplies that's, last. That's the one to have. And, trivia question, who was the commander of the rebel base on Yavin 4? That's, these are great questions. I wrote you that so to... long ago, I think I forgot. That's, uh, no, I think I remember. Okay, I'll, I'll, okay. I'll, I, won't, I won't spoil it for everybody. Okay. I, I don't think this is right. I don't think this is right. Is it... No. No. No, I didn't, I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't think so. I didn't think so. I didn't think so. But Pee Wee Herman's in there somewhere, isn't yeah. he? Okay. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know which theater you saw it at. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this was brand new to QVC and exclusive to QVC. This is your first view of what the new poster is going to look like. Now, who did the, the artwork for the, for the new guy right here? Um... Good question. I mean, it was adapted from uh, it was adapted from existing Star Wars art. Okay, so probably digitally compiled. Yes, okay. exactly. All right, look at uh, that. Wow, that's a little tough to. Oh, there yeah, you go. Yeah, it's a little tough to look at. And this is done on a 24 karat gold. There it is. Something. Yeah. 24 karat gold covered ink. Yes. 24 karat gold. 24 karat gold metal card produced by using the 24 karat gold photo imaging technology, a process where 24 karat gold is applied to a metal base in such detail that it looks like a photograph that was done in 24 karat gold. Actually, this is the artwork for the Advance One Sheet, which is just going out to movie theaters now. And the really? Advance One Sheet's really hot. Oh, boy. And this is, the, uh, this is the same artwork on that One Sheet. I haven't seen trailers yet. Are there trailers in the theater? Trailers will be out next month, oh, along with a couple of Fox movies. That's exciting. That's 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 gonna be that's gonna be really yeah exciting. the trailers were, I, every time I, I see the trailer it gives me there you goosebumps go. there you can see you can see that photograph in person you can see that right up front it's almost like like a metal etching and a hologram combined metal etching and a hologram that's exclusive right. to QVC yeah a little tough yeah a little tough and it's you can take it out of its I didn't bring my Swiss Army knife, <laughs> but you can, because they're suspending you from school now, perhaps. Uh -huh. Okay. But you, you could take it out of its case to examine it, and probably but there. There you can see it. Yeah, okay. Comes in an acrylic case and yep. then a little velveteen kind of uh, box. And only 1997. Only 1997, commemorating the uh, anniversary, the 20th anniversary year. And on the look at the check out the back of the card, because in the back of the card. It's very uh, reminiscent of the opening of the original Star Wars film where a long time ago in a galaxy far away, authentic images created this 24 karat gold ingot to commemorate 20 years of Star Wars. And the Al Williamson uh, framed piece has, I'm not going to get to buy anything from the show. <laughs> now, a third of these have already been ordered. 24 karat gold, each one individually numbered, commemorating uh, the first Star Wars trilogy, but this the artwork from the new one sheet, which right. is just now hitting the theaters. Off to the phones we go, and each one will be individually numbered right here on the back out of just 1997 for worldwide distribution. Hi there, you're on QVC with Stephen Sansweet. Welcome to the show. Hi. Hi, who's there? Uh, Dennis Snorbush from Sayreville. Hi, Dennis. Hey, Dennis, glad Hi. you could join us. What made this a real special collectible for you, Dennis? Well, I've seen the 23 carat cards that you're selling there. Mm -hmm. I've seen the 24 karat one and it just really caught my eye. It's a and real one of a kind piece, Dennis. It yeah, really and it's the, like the new movie poster. Yeah. So that's really unique. Make a nice collectible it for will. my collection. It really will. I mean, there you can see that it is. It's just like it's like it's like a photograph. It's yeah. Absolutely like a photograph. Nice. Yeah. Um, I have a question for Steve. Sure. Yeah. The Dark Forces game that's coming out. Uh, is that coming out on, like, the PlayStation or Saturn, do you know? Yeah, Dark Forces is going to be ported to, um, to the PlayStation. Mm. Okay, when is that coming out? Pardon? 
uh, when is that going to become announced? Yeah, the in, the next, in the next couple of months. I think that one is just before Christmas. Hmm. Okay, good. Because I've seen it for the computer, and I haven't got a computer, though. So. Right. Luc LucasArts is trying to port a number of the games, uh, starting on one system and then maybe six months or nine months later going to, uh, going to, to another system. Well, you were saying uh, Shadows of the Empire. Uh, Shadows of the Empire is going to be exclusive for the Ninten Nintendo, say that quickly, Nintendo 64 mm -hmm. originally, and that may be ported to CD-ROM, but with a 3D accelerator card exactly. uh, sometime next year. That's an incredible system, too. Yeah, it is. It's the an amazing N64. system. I got, like, the Super Mario for it, but I I'm really waiting for the Star Wars to come yeah, out. That's the that's Shadows of the Empire mm -hmm. game will be out by the beginning of December, and that's going to be a mm -hmm. hot one. In fact, yeah. The, the, the set of cards that the Hildebrands did has a subset of six cards based on the Shadows of the Empire Nintendo game. Characters and scenes from that game. The yeah, ten cards? Really cool. Yeah, yeah. Hey, good phone call tonight. Thank you much. Thank you much for joining us. All right, thank you. Enjoy Bye. your New England. Brand new to QVC, exclusive to QVC. T less than half of these remain in stock right now. Uh, fewer than half remain in stock. $75. See 36 579 Advance orders. Over 800 of these have been ordered. The Shadows of the Empire uncut trading sheets exclusive to QVC. Only QVC will have this on the primary market. It's an uncut sheet of all the primary cards from the Hildebrands. And this price is incredible. For $49 sheet. for an uncut sheet. They never sell for less than 100 bucks. Mm -hmm. This is a one-of-a-kind set to have the art done by the Hildebrand yeah. brothers. Oh, totally. And also, making its world debut tonight, half of these have been ordered. You gotta have this. You're gonna have it first. If there are any of these left after the show, it's I'll get one of these. It's a great book. It really is a great book. Autograph by Christine Rush, the brand new Star Wars story. Won't be in the bookstores for weeks. You can get it first right here and get it autographed by the author. And by the way, answer to the trivia question, who was commander of Rebel Base on Yavin 4? It was General Jan Dodonna. Good thing I didn't forget it. <laughs> wow, that's that a little was, tough. That, yeah, little that was, tough. that was, well, Mon Motha was the whole... Yeah, but she was the head of the whole Rebel The line. whole Rebel line. Right. Okay, okay. She this was in, yes, in yeah. Jedi. Right, yeah. right. Wow. I You're not you, losing it totally, I, Steve. I told you these were, I told you these were great questions. Oh. These are dynamite cards. You are looking at 180 cards, and with this set, you are guaranteed a complete set. You're going to get four, approximately four Matrix cards, and four refractor cards along with the set, along with 180 regular cards. Look at these. And there's, there's quite a story with the world of tops because they will guarantee you a complete set. Let's just go through. Oh, yeah. Dynamite, dynamite. And each of, each of the subsets, each of the nine cards are done by different mm -hmm. artists. Uh, Den Beauvais, Hugh Fleming, Russell Walks, Judah Tversky, Chris Muller, Mark Harrison. Joe Phillips, mm -hmm. Lou Harrison, Mark Sasso, mm -hmm. Tony Harris, and Joe Chiodo. Really well-known comic artists, and, uh, and they've done an amazing, amazing uh, set of cards here. Oh, Star yeah. Wars finest. Oh, yeah, and to, get, to be able to get the Matrix cards and the Refractor cards, all of which, all by themselves now, are commanding a premium price out there on the market. Like eight to ten bucks a piece. That's right, so you're getting at least right around approximately three to four matrix cards and three approximately three refractor cards in the set and if you don't get a complete set with all the foil packs in this all you do with these uh, these chromium cards I, lo I love that chromium print that is just yeah. so rich very nice all you do is send your duplicate cards to tops and they will send you the cards to give you a complete set complete so regular set right. guaranteed to have a complete regular set 180 cards, it's $139, quite a, quite a nice buy, quite a nice way to get them, too, to realize that you will get a complete set one way or another. I mean, you might be lucky and hit it right off the bat, probably there'll be one or two years. And that, that's the annoying thing when you're going out and buying the wax packs. There's always one or two. There's always a one or two. It's like, I was talking to the Hildebrands. I remember when I was growing up, I think it was in Sugar Smacks or some cereal, <laughs> they had all the Sky King characters. Right. And I ate sugar smacks till they were coming out my nose, trying to get the Songbird airplane. I got like 15 little obnoxious pennies. I got like 25 skies. No I got songbird. a couple of sheriffs. I got a couple of the goofy nephew. Now you'll get the complete set. Maybe it's in here. Yeah, that's true. Maybe, maybe it's in here. We'll keep, we'll keep looking. But that's, if you've ever tried to collect something and tried to get a complete set, 
you realize how annoying it can be. Even when you're trying to record uh, from television, you're trying to record a television series, there's always one or two episodes that your local station doesn't right. seem to have. This way, in the world of trading cards, you will get, whether you have it or not, a complete set. 180 cards, you're going to get the refractor cards, you're going to get the four, about four refractor cards, about three of the Matrix cards, along with 180 regular cards. Tops Finest, the Star Wars Tops Finest foil box set. Oh, dynamite artwork. Great $139. Stuff. Also available, brand new to QVC, Dave Dorman's book making its world premiere tonight. It's autographed by the artist. $25 for an autographed collectible. F11600. Imagine, imagine what's going to be happening in the world of Star Wars when the film comes out this January. The desirability of these collectibles is going to jump big time. Brand new, exclusive, less than half of these remain $29. C36, 429 This is also artwork by the Hildebrands. And the, the, the buy of buys, it's 120 minutes. It's two hours of long-distance phone calls. You're buying two hours of long-distance phone calls on uh, some of the more intriguing collectibles. Around the world, phone cards are really... Oh, phone cards are hot. like a very hot collectible, yeah. and there have been Star Wars phone cards in Japan and England, but these are the first and so far the only Star Wars phone mm -hmm. cards in the United States authorized by Lucasfilm. And although our Shadows of the Empire card set sold out, the promo card the one that came along with that set. Right. The promo card is included in the set. So you get the promo card for Shadows of the Empire, but you also get three phone cards. Each phone card will have uh, 40 minutes of long distance time on it. Each one, what a nice thing if you have a Star Wars fan uh, off of college. Nice thing to send them so they don't, they don't call, I don't care how they call you, collect, it's costing you a small fortune. I love the ads for the collect phone call service. Oh, right. Call this number to call yeah, collect. Yeah, right. Then we'll only gouge you a little bit. Well, now they, they have <laughs> prepaid. Well, so much for that endorsement. Now, you have prepaid phone time on, of course, the, the three images from the, uh, the trilogy. Now, these are very easy to use, too. I mean, a lot of people don't know how to use phone cards. All you do is you dial an 800 number, mm -hmm. and, uh, and then you give them, you punch in the number that's on right. this card, and you can dial anywhere in the country or That's right. internationally. That's right. It's it's 40 minutes of time on each on each card. Which so is great. it's I mean you're sort of paying for the card plus getting a collectible mm -hmm. because unlike some phone cards in Japan, for example, you put the card in the phone oh, right. and it makes holes in the card. Exactly. Uh, this you know once nothing you, is damaged. Once you use it, it's still a really fine collectible. In fact, you might want to get two sets of this. Get one that you're going to use or. What great stocking stuffers to give somebody 40 minutes of a long distance, oh, yeah. long distance a, phone call. It's a great idea as a stocking oh, stuffer. Oh, yeah. And that's, break that down, that's, uh, that's like $10, $10 a card. C34408, and this set's exclusive to QVC, like so many of our Star Wars collectibles, so only available from us in the primary market. Off to the phones we go again. Hi, you're on QVC with Steve Sansweet. I'm glad you could join us. Uh, this is the... Hmm? This is Dallaine Jernigan from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Hi, how are you doing? Hey, Dallaine. Yeah, I ordered the the uncut uh, sheet card mm -hmm. and the cards, and I ordered these uh, phone cards. Great. Because I collect phone cards. Uh, Dallaine, how did you get started doing that? Uh, I I took a trip to Italy about five years ago, and they had phone cards over there. So many people, because they were real big in right. Europe and Asia before they hit this country, so many people found them over there first. That's intriguing. Well, you've got three real winners here, because you'll never find these anywhere, except well, in QVC, at least in the primary market. The dealer may buy them, but I don't think they'll be selling well, them at a loss. Well, I'm a real fan of Star Wars, too. Well, that's a, that's a perfect uh, combination and, of hobbies. Yeah. I went and seen the first Star Wars five times. No kidding. And you're yeah. going to have a chance to do it again next January right. 31st. I'll be there. Great. And Han Solo gets to talk to that big, horrible, slimy thing. That's right. Oh, that's, that's yeah. right. Yeah, you'll, you'll get to see Han Solo trying to buy a little bit of extra time from Jabba the Hutt because oh, of the, uh, the computer imagery. It'll, it'll be a fascinating thing. It's January 31st, coming in 1997. Well, I hope it comes here. Oh, it will. Oh, it'll be everywhere. Absolutely. Everywhere. Actually, 
What you'll see, Darlene, you'll probably see a line outside your door. That'll be the line for the theaters here. Starting here. So, so you might want to you might want to queue up rather early on that one. You won't miss it. You won't yeah. be able to avoid it. Yeah. Okay. Hey, thanks for the call. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Bye bye. Exclusive to QVC, the phone card collection, twenty nine dollars seventy five cents. C thirty four four zero eight. And all right, this could be last call because only a third of our supply of this remains. Exclusive to QVC, coated in twenty four karat gold and a special process that allows it to look like a photograph. $75 for that limited collectible, only 1997 ever collected, created, I should say. Darth and Han Solo. Darth, it's last call on Darth. Darth will be selling out now. Boba Fett already sold out, so Han Solo and Darth Vader. The Darth Vader is the one Darth Vader wants you for the Imperial Forces. $15, 100% cotton. How did Han Solo end up with the Millennium Falcon? A ship that would do 0.5 past light speed. I mean, that baby would cruise. Oh, it can it really would, go. It would cruise with, with deflector shields that, uh, that has saved his hiney yep. more times yep. than he likes. To, they, he and Chewie. A lot, of, a lot of bootleg stuff on that oh. ship, but uh, oh, yeah. he really made it. All right. The, the book that took the world by storm. I mean, any book. When was the last time you knew of a book based on a movie series that had its own action figures, that had its own... Look at this, Shadows of the Empire. This is the artwork from the cover of the book, Shadows of the Empire. Gold foil card, C35698, exclusive to QVC, limited to 10,000 pieces, each one individually numbered here on the back, and each one with a story, giving you kind of a, a detailing of that Steve Perry novel and super artwork on this. Just, just superb. Another, another very nice gold card. This was number four in the series. That's right a rare opportunity to go back if you miss this the first time. Mm -hmm. That's right, we're up to number five already, and a, a story, if you haven't gotten the book by Steve Perry, we have it, and we have it autographed by the author, so you can call in the customer, uh, customer rep. And You're just going to hear more about Shadows in the next two months because the Nintendo 64 game That's is right. going to launch at the beginning of December, and I think uh, Shadows is going to get a lot of heat. Will then. all that animation be on the game? All that There's action? incredible animation I, I on mean, the game. I mean, we saw that trailer, and that's just, that's going to, I have to go out and buy a Nintendo system <laughs> now, you know? Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, you'll be able to steer a, uh, a snow speeder between oh. the legs of an Imperial Walker and oh, blow one up, and as you go that's by the great. Walker, the head follows you. It's an amazing game. Oh, man. And that's coming out? That'll be out the first week of December. Wow, that's, that's, that's going to set new standards for Christmas gift giving. And so will this. You have somebody who's a Star Wars fan, what a, what a double whammy. Order the book. We have the Steve Perry book available, autographed by the author. Very rare to, to get a, an autographed book. The book has a whole line of uh, new characters. She's, she's or the uh, reptilian. Gory, the very attractive android. Indeed. Indeed. Boy, if, you know... <laughs> Androids like that. Yeah, I, well, you don't find my, them every day. Might have changed my whole... <laughs> it's sort of like, she's sort of like the blow-up doll of the Empire, you know? Something like that, yes. <laughs> Zach, what a great name for the... Well, we'll, no, we'll work on that. So, Steve. Screenplay. Drop it. Okay. C35698. <laughs> Done. You can see that 3D relief on that. Yeah, the, these cars work great. Oh, yeah. They with, really do. With Emperor Palpatine. Of course, that's going to be a little bit... As I understand, in the prequel that Emperor, Emperor Palpatine, Senator Palpatine, uh, obviously he'll be Senator in the, in the prequel, he sort of came to power by subterfuge, so it's going to be uh, quite an oh, interesting yeah. story to the tell. The prequels will be fascinating, no doubt about it. Oh, yeah, this Shadows of the Empire, 23 karat gold foil card, it's $29. Still available? The 900 of these already ordered. This, this one of the stars of the show, exclusive to QVC, uncut trading cards from Shadows of the Empire, for $49, and speaking of the book, if you haven't read it, you've got to read it. This will, this will intrigue you. It will, you'll, you'll be pulled into the story, as I believe it was Greg Hildebrandt said, couldn't put the book down. Autographed by the author. $21, F10, 9.32. And Han Solo wound up with the Millennium Falcon because he won it from Lando Calrissian in a Sabacc game. We'll have to play a round of that one of these days. Well, uh, can we do it like, like hard turns? Yeah, I absolutely. Like I would love absolutely. That. Can I deal? No. Oh. Almost. Almost. <laughs> you, you've seen. You've seen the show. Before. I've heard. Okay. Yeah. It's a. Uh, it's. It's a curse. 
Anyway, I can, I can deal seconds. Get me into a game. Hey, Yoda's sitting here. Okay. <clears throat> yes, he is. All right. <laughs> a chance for you to... Uh, boy, talk about family fun. Talk about interactive fun with a son or a daughter, a grandson or a granddaughter. You can sit down and put together scenes of uh, Yoda with Luke and R2. Or you can put Jabba the Hutt together sitting there on his, oh, this one's Jabba. Jabba. This one's Jabba sitting on his repulsor sled, which is how he gets around. Actually, by Jedi, in Star Wars, you'll see Jabba can move. He was a little thinner in Star Wars. Ah, okay. He can move around by moving his tail. Oh, my God. When well, do you hear it, too? I'll, I'll, I'll bet. <laughs> I'll bet. So you, you can build these, and they're not real difficult to put together. Now, these are sort of neat because mm -hmm. they're not just kits of vehicles, but give you whole settings so you can yeah. recreate a movie scene. A lot of people try to establish a, uh, the, you know, a Star Wars, a Star Wars room, if you know, if, if you would, a, a place where all your collectibles are housed. Yep. These would be nice little centerpieces for your collectible. Here are the, here are the, you can see there aren't a whole cool. lot of pieces, but look at all the, look at all yeah. the way cool characters. Yeah. On here. Oh yeah. Here's you have this tree stump. No, oh, that's great. Wow. That's great. Pretty neat. Yeah. I think we should put the, one of these we together. Should, we should, we you should, should put one of them together on the air. We should do that. We should <laughs> we should do that on on the. Oh look at this. Oh here you go. Here you go. Yabba. Little smarmy guy right in there. Yabba. There he is. I don't have a razor blade to trim these, but let me see if I can just give you an idea how they go together. Let's pull him off right there. Yeah, all right. There, there, and then Jabba. Now you need you'll need a little plastic cement, which is not included uh -huh. with this, but it's no big deal. And then Jabba snaps together like that, like that, comes together, and there you have a a 3D Jabba the Hut. Well, this is cool, and we have Yoda over we here. We have a, a 3D Yoda. Very nice. That's great. Do we know? Are we going to see Yoda in the in the prequel? Uh, we can assume that, perhaps, I would, I but uh, George, I mean, George hasn't said anything particular about Yoda, except he said one of the reasons I want computer graphics is because I could do things, for example, like have Yoda walk. Oh, that's so, right. So, maybe. That's right, yeah, because instead of you relying on the, on the Frank Oz puppet wizard, right. wizardry there. Still available. Okay, the Dark Empire II metal card set, $18.50, C35, three eighty eight, and... Also, the Return of the Jedi metallic card set. That, I believe, is 20 cards. $46, C20, $386. So many things have sold out. We thought we'd give you, give you a chance of something that hasn't. This is brand new to QVC. Only QVC will have it an uncut trading card sheet featuring artwork by Tim and Greg Hildebrandt from Shadows of the Empire. We will be the, the only primary dealer to have this. Uh, looks like a lot of dealers dialed in and ordered multiple copies of this, and they'll be selling them at conventions. What, this, a, what a great match. Oh, yeah. Two of the best fantasy artists going today Absolutely. with one of the most exciting properties going today, the yeah. Hildebrandts and Star Wars, together again yes. after 20 years. And not only do you get the new characters from Shadows of the Empire, mm -hmm. but the set is filled with all our favorite characters from the Star Wars movies, mm -hmm. because Shadows takes place between Empire and Jedi. So we have a very seductive Princess Leia. We have a subset of vehicles, a subset of the Nintendo game, um, a, another subset from the uh, comic series. This guys, you got to incredible. Gotta, you you got to get tight on this one. You got to get that's that's woo. Hello. That's dynamite. That is abs right there. You got it. That's dynamite. Look at that. Oh man, they are they are such gifted artists. I, I'm trying to. So you like Chewy with his crew cut? Huh? Uh, Chewy with the crew cut is cool. And uh, great scene of Jabba up there toward the top. I'm uh, trying to find my favorite, which is, is a. There. Here we go. This Vader, this Vader head up here. Oh yeah. Point. point uh, hold your hold your finger there so they can. Oh, there they got we it. go. They got yeah. It. yeah. Check this one out. Close absolutely up. Absolutely one of my favorites. The 90 common cards, all done exclusively for QVC. Uncut cards. 
some of the most desirable collectibles if you're going out to the conventions, and we will be the only primary dealer to have this, to get it at this kind of a price. You, you will never see this in the secondary market for less than 100 bucks. I, I can bet. assure you. I would bet. I mean, this, it's this a is a great set. It's got everything. It's got the slitter's guide, all the printer's right. guides on the side. It is a true uncut sheet. And the set hasn't even come out yet. We've never had that before. That's right. It's an amazing right. piece of art just on its own. Because a lot of trading card mm -hmm. sets, you have different artists on it. Yep. All you will do is add about three to five days to your regular QVC delivery time, and it'll be there. You'll be the first person to have this. Let's take a look at, with so many things have sold out, but here's what remains. The art of Dave Dorman, making its world premiere tonight. Autographed by the artist, $25. F11, Beautiful book. 600 Stunning. And a must-have. That's a must-have. So is this. Industrial Light and Magic, the hardcover book. If there are any of these left when I get off the air, I'm ordering one because that, oh, every movie they've done digitally, I mean, you'll get the background behind the mask, Jurassic Park, uh, Young Indy, the television series. And the new special edition. That's right. The new, you'll get the first views of that in this book, $80. Also, the Star Wars movie poster, gold foil card, number five in the series, $29, C36, $429. Exclusive to QVC. T-shirts, we have Han Solo and I believe just a few of the Darth Vaders remaining. And such an opportunity, the brand new Star Wars novel, The New Rebellion by Christine Rush, autographed by Christine. Won't be in the stores for weeks. You'll have first crack at it, $22 for that great story. And your choice of the Star Wars pop-up book, $16 or $17, C35, $846. And a handful of these remain, the Trilogy Ingot with that brand new uh, one sheet artwork on that 24 karat gold covered ingot. And the finest, the Star Wars finest, it's 100 and, what is it, 180 cards? Yes, 180 cards in that, $139 for that. You're guaranteed a complete set. Exclusive to QVC, the Star Wars phone card collection, $29.75, C34408. And the Shadows of the Empire 23 karat gold foil card for $29. See, $35,698. That's number four in the series. Along with your chance to build Jabba the Hutt or Yoda and Luke for $14.50. And less than half of our supply remains right now of this uncut trading card sheet. All the artwork from the Hildebrands, $49. Just add three to four days. What a buy. And... The Shadows of the Empire, one-third of our supply now remains. A Steve Perry book autographed by the author, $21, F10, 932. And the Dark Empire II metal card set, $18.50. Comes in a collectible metal tin as well. And we have the other metal card set. Yeah, The Return of the Jedi metallic card collection, $46, C2386. And finally, the Jabba the Hutt maquette. That is huge. Oh, 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 oh. Very good. Mario Chiodo, I believe, did yes. work on that. Stunning, stunning work. Nice piece. Now Java can be your best friend. Steve, Happy is... Star Wars anniversary. Happy fourth anniversary. What's next for you? Where are you headed? Uh, headed to San Francisco in November for the big Starlog 20th anniversary convention. All right. When in November? November 21st and 22nd, I believe. All right. So Good deal. Great. Excellent. We'll see you there. Always fun. And we'll see you tomorrow, 7 o'clock, tomorrow night, Marvel Comics. My old boss from Marvel Comics, John Romita Sr., joins us and tells you what a really nice employee I used to be. We'll see you there.